and we're live. Woo! Welcome to Hello. Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> it's Wednesday, mm -hmm. and we're here to play some games. Yay! Some brand new games mm -hmm. on classic consoles. Mm -hmm. um, so it is, as you can see by our sweaters. Yay! It is that time of the year. It is. It's December. Late, yeah. late, mid, mid to late December now. Pretty late now. Yeah. It's getting on. It's about the 18th, 19th? Yeah, 19th. So we're... Dressed in appropriate garb, right? Six days away from Christmas? From certain celebrations. <laughs> and um, we have some presents on the show mm -hmm. that I bought myself, mm -hmm. uh, which is good because I know exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> and I always get it. That's true. Um, we're going to be playing uh, also some games today that are Christmas themed or holiday themed mm -hmm. um, at 60 frames a second. So if you're not watching at 60 frames a second, make sure you are because you'll miss half the action. <laughs> <laughs> will uh, they see it at all? Uh, they'll Certain games, they will see half of it. Like It'll flicker? literally half of like the flicker, action. Flicker, flicker, flicker? Yeah, if they use certain mm -hmm. uh, methods well, that's of, not much of animation. Yeah. Yeah. So they definitely need to make sure they're watching it in the right way. Do not, no, wait, okay. that's fine. Yeah. So we're going to be playing a premiere, exclusive premiere, right off the top of the show. Nice. Called Tower of Rubble by Dianoid, who made Amoeba Jump. So you know nice. it's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, happy holidays to you, Mr. Yes. Fix. Happy Welcome holidays. to the show. Uh, we're going to be playing Toy Shop Trouble, uh, which I think you've played before. Toy Shop Trouble? Yes, I like that game. That's a Painting fun game. Painting Toys? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Toy Very Shop fun. Terminator, uh, which is Perfect. a brand new game. Okay. Uh, a very Galactopus Christmas? Galactopus Christmas. Galactopus. Uh, which is a brand new game as well. Nice. Um, Tossing Cookies 2, which is a game from 2012 by Chris Reed. And we're finishing it off with Gingerbread Man, which you didn't play, I don't think. I don't it's think platformer, I did. No, your little Gingerbread I, Man. No, you I saw don't. us play it. I saw you play it. With I Air think Lynch. I, I might have jumped in when you were playing it with Erlyn for a little yes. bit, and I watched you play. That's yeah. right. So we're going to play that again at the end of the show. That's by Fred Quimby from 2007. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers that mm -hmm. support the show, and especially Ground Trooper, who just resubscribed today. Mm -hmm. He says it's his four-month uh, Zero Page Homebrew anniversary, Yes. but he's going to miss most <clears throat> of tonight's show. And I do understand because a lot of things are happening it around this time of year. It is hard this time of year to find some free time to play some classic video games. So yes. Classic, or people I should are... say new video games on classic consoles. That's right. Yes. Um, so people are spending it with their family. But we do record this and we post it in YouTube the next day. So if you can't watch it live, you can always watch it later, mm -hmm. um, which is nice. And if you want to... Um, oh, uh, Tasty Sandwich is also a Twitch subscriber. Charles and Check. Gretums, uh, Ice Boasted, mm -hmm. Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, who's in the chat, Retro Happy Hour, Thrust26, Tiki Dan K, and also oh, Ice Boasted is in the channel as mm -hmm. well. I read his name. And Ice Boasted says he loves Toy Shop Trouble. Yes, it is fun, fun, and, fun. And also happy holidays to Pixel and Atari. Yes. And we do have an Atari on the couch here. Pixel is yeah, uh, shedding, shedding yeah. all over my black pants. Yes. Yeah, but buddy. he's here for some gaming. Oh, he loves the game. <laughs> Yeah, we were noticing that it doesn't matter whenever we're on any couch. Yeah. Together. Side by side, there's always an Atari between us. Yeah, he'll he just, crawl in between. He just seems to like that warm space in between two people. <laughs> and he's so. able to touch both of us at the same time. I he's know. Got a he's, paw on Tanya. I know. And a back to me. Yeah. And he's, so there's lots of love sweet. to go around. Yeah, so. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime and click subscribe mm -hmm. and uh, support the show. Now we have a lot of news and unboxing to get through, so let's do that. Um, the 2018 Atari Awards are coming up. Yes. We're going to be doing that in the new year. Oh, thank you, Johnny WC23 just subscribed. Thank you very much, John awesome. Champeau. Uh, always nice <laughs> um, to see new subscribers. Yes. Um, so yeah, they're fast approaching. They're going to be in the new year. The cutoff date, obviously, for the end of 2018 is December 31st, midnight, ch chops it off. So we're going to be, you actually, not us, you are going to be voting on the best games of the year. Mm -hmm. Best homebrew, best work in progress, best graphics, best sound, best packaging, all of those things. Um, but we're going to process over 100 homebrew games first. 
make sure we got them all for 2018. Then we're going to whittle them down to about 10 or 15 of the top games mm -hmm. by um, some experts in the field that know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you, so everybody doesn't have to vote on like 150 games for every mm -hmm. selection because uh, that's way too many. It's out of control. Um, and then probably late January, early February is when it goes out to the public for you guys to vote on what you think the best homebrews, Atari 2600 homebrews are of the year. And then late February, we're going to be having the live presentation of the award show. Mm -hmm. And I just bought a green screen for this. Nice. So we're going to be... <laughs> Um, setting up the green screen, doing some practicing upstairs in a totally different room. Yeah. We'll be uh, you showing won't the awards. It. You, you won't, won't recognize <laughs> it at all because it's just a big green screen. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll be actually standing up. That'll be uh, oh, uh, something shocking. different. Yeah. And getting uh, the people who won the awards to Skype in, Skype in or mm -hmm. conference in so they can say their acceptance speeches. And we'll be having it on a Saturday afternoon so Europe can participate as well. So nice. it'll be evening for them, early afternoon for us, and it'll be a really fun time. And I'm also right now designing the physical awards mm -hmm. and getting those ordered. Um, so that is, that's fun as well. Uh, making sure they look good and uh, there's a nice award to give all the people who deserve it. Mm -hmm. And um, t -t 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 okay, what else do we have here? So I looked on Craigslist the other day and I found a whole bunch of cool stuff that I wanted. Oh, Dianoid Games is here. Welcome, Dianoid. Hello. Welcome. Oh, it's the middle of the night. Wow, that is late. Shh. We have to whisper. <laughs> we don't want to wake up the household. Oh, yeah. Um, I <laughs> couldn't sleep. Oh, yeah, goodness. wow. Yeah, yeah he's uh, in Europe. Ah. I can't yes. remember what country, but uh, yeah. maybe he wants to say. Yeah, that's, um, up, that's up to him. That's up to you. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I saw some really cool things that I wanted to get mm. on Craigslist. And so let's take a look at those right now. Starting with the first bin. Um, and I told the guy I did the show, so he might be tuning in. <laughs> you never maybe, know. maybe not. Yeah. Um, so this first item is something that I've been looking for for a little while. It's um, not in the 8-bit era, but it is something very cool. It is the Super Graphics PC Engine. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the uh, system that came out after the TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine. Oh, he's from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I have been there <laughs> um, to Amsterdam for the filming. Um, so this is a really cool uh, machine, but only six games were made for it. But the very cool thing is that it is RGB modded. Mm -hmm. So it has very, very nice output. And he also included um, this game for me, which he uh, partly made. And it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, FX Unit Yuki. And it is kind of an amalgamation of a whole bunch of shooting platforming games by Atari <laughs> <laughs> all done in one kind of style mm -hmm. um, so I look forward to playing that I just got it the other day so I haven't played it yet and now on to the really exciting thing that I got mm. I'm um, excited I don't know what it is oh you do this know is what it like is. opening a present <laughs> you do know what it I is I don't know what it is okay oh this yes, oh, sorry yes. I thought you meant the oh, uh, not unboxing. that no not yet no I don't know One what's more. in the box and yeah. this also I got from Craigslist from this other uh, from the same person mm. um, so I posted this it smells very perfumey this box I don't know why something was in it before this <laughs> um, so I posted a picture of this and it had people guess what was in this box and somebody figured out what this was and mostly you can f and I said it's not what it really is so it's not Nintendo. Um, it is not Nintendo, and you can tell by the end here, which is DB9, which mm -hmm. is what Atari, um, ColecoVision, um, uh, Commodore 64, and a whole bunch of other 8-bit uh, uh, systems used, um, used yeah. because it was free. Anybody could use this. Um, so that a plugin. lot of people took advantage of this. But this is, if you could hold it, I just need to yeah. refer to my can notes. Uh, HVC051, that's, did I get that right? Mm, yes, HVC051 controller. It's a modded 
Famicom controller. And what this came from was the Famicom, uh, Family Computer Network System, which was a kind of dial-up system okay. for the Famicom. Mm -hmm. um, you couldn't buy games for this system. You could only download games. There was no cartridges. There was nothing. Wow. It was over the cable system, and you would just subscribe to it and, and get games. But anyway, this was modded. This is not... You can't, can't use this on a Famicom. This was modded for the ColecoVision system. Wow. That's why it's got a DB9 on it. Because if you look at the control pad, um, there's, you know, normal up, down, left, right. Um, there's two buttons because Coleco has two buttons, one on either side for fire buttons. Um, but it's also got a one through nine and a star and a hash or Hashtag. hashtag pound a pound <laughs> a pound that's what it was back then it's not a hashtag yeah. it's a pound <laughs> well. um so because the ColecoVision controllers have those numbers mm. and so you need them to fully control it um so what uh, in 2008 uh somebody called double down uh modified these uh, yes, I've made another new con custom control pad for the ColecoVision. Features include an eight-way directional pad, two independent fire buttons, and a full keypad. And he said, can anybody guess what the donor controller originally was? Um, so this was modified for the uh, ColecoVision, mm. which is, was the big hint. And, you know, why, why is the ColecoVision something exciting? Um, but I did buy a ColecoVision, and the actual exciting part of this ColecoVision, besides it being super shiny and super awesome, is this cable that came with it that has a SCART connector on one end and uh, some sort of other cable. I, I've memorized what, what kind of <laughs> cable this is. But this is an RGB modded ColecoVision. Yeah, those might fall out. Um, so it has got the um, RGB output mm -hmm. on the back of it and it is a really nice clean output. Nice. Um, so actually I am going to briefly plug it in sure. and show you how nice it does look. So let's just put this on the ground and I need the power. No, don't need that one. I do need the other one. This guy? And also at the same time I did get the Atari Max Ultimate SD Multicart uh, for ColecoVision and Atom. So, that means I can, drumroll please, play homebrew on it. So, Exciting. next year I will be introducing some ColecoVision homebrew into Zero Page. Once in a while. <laughs> uh, mostly it's going to be, obviously, still Atari 2600 because that's my well, first love. It's, it's, it's <laughs> nice to have some, some yeah, variety. variety. Yeah, yeah. And there's some very hardworking people over in the ColecoVision camp mm -hmm. that uh, need some love um, and deserve some love for all the hard work that they do. So I'm going to plug in the RGB cable here into the back and plug it into my uh, Frame Meister. Unplug the 2600. There we go. And uh, pop in the multi cart. And we're going to play with the other controller. The new one? The new controller. Well, the modded controller, I should say. And let's take a look at the beautiful output it has. Have that upside down? I do. Let's plug it in the right way up. Okay. Power. Lights, camera, action. And make sure it's all good. Oh, I can see it there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will just get that off. And let's just go through the boot up sequence again. There we go. Atari Max. So here we go. Tons. Uh, yes, and actually, Mr. Fix says James got lucky indeed on this one. Mm -hmm. Well, um, the reason I got lucky on this is because I did actually try and get my ColecoVisions modded. I have, I have a bunch, bunch of ColecoVisions, and I wanted to get one of them modded. But the person who does the modding, uh, Yerky, 
um, on the Atari Age forums. Mm. I messaged him, and I think like a month later, he got back to me, and he said, "Yeah, I don't, I don't do this anymore. I'm, I'm retired. I don't, <laughs> I don't mod ColecoVisions." Mm -hmm. And that was the only way you can get a ColecoVision modded, yeah. unless you know how to do it yourself. You do it yourself, yeah. Um, yeah. You can't. You couldn't buy the modding equipment. You could only send it off to him to get it modded. Mm -hmm. So I got really, really lucky that I was able to find uh, a modded uh, ColecoVision. So let's just take a look at wow. <laughs> yeah. So here a lot of a so lot, uh, lot of games. So let's just get the audio going. <laughs> and this is by Oscar something something uh, Oscar Toledo G, who has made uh, who is is he, is he Nano Chess? He's Nano Chess. I believe. Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he, do, he does Atari 2600 stuff. So now you can see that it is a beautiful output. Look at how clean this is. It looks really good. <laughs> yes. So this is like Ghost and Goblins, this, uh, this game. Very terrible. Getting attacked. So it's got an SD card, and I can load any of the work in progress homebrews. Um, yes, he indeed is now chess, so I am getting it right. I don't want to mess that up, obviously. And I actually told him that hey, I uh, got a RGB modded uh, ColecoVision because he is in the pro he is working on a game right now uh, for the ColecoVision. So there we go. <laughs> wow, it looks really good. Yes, it's a uh, very, very clean system. Mm. Not for resale. This one's, this one's really well made, this mm. Mario Brothers game. You've played this game, right? Oh yes. Yes. Yeah. Not very good at it, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it, this it is this game. is like really nice version of it. Mm -hmm. So there we go. That is the ColecoVision. So we will start looking at some uh, some homebrew in the new year and start uh, putting that into the rotation because mm -hmm. I know there's some great uh, ColecoVision uh, homebrew out there. So let's unplug that and unplug that. Get this out of the way a little bit. Oh, back to the news. I think it is that box. Let me see. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll be adding them in now that I have a uh, high quality RGB system because I didn't want to put, you know, a lower quality system on the stream. I wanted to have the highest quality output. So it looked pretty good. So it so it makes the games just shine. Mm -hmm. Like look really, really nice. And speaking of ColecoVision, mm -hmm. uh, this was just this oh it's gonna be over your head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Collector Vision Phoenix just released their uh, final <laughs> look for their uh, console for the Phoenix console. Um, and as you can see it on screen there, maybe I'll move it a little bit once. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that is. Let me move it out of your face. I'll just lean in. How about that? Oh, okay. don't bump me. I'm trying to move things. Okay. There we go. Nope. So you moved it. In the there back. you go. There you go. <laughs> so there's a collector vision Phoenix, um, because they had a Kickstarter for an FPGA um, ColecoVision system that incorporated all their hardware into it, but um, the, the Kickstarter failed, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. There wasn't enough, but they went, ah, oh, forget it, we're going to do it anyway, and went ahead with it and started taking pre-orders, and I put in my pre-order day one, so I will have it. Mm. Nope, you're going to get kicked out soon. <laughs> I will have it day one. Um, when they release it. So we'll be showing that off when I get that. And uh, we do have a poll today. Excellent. And the poll is, have you played any ColecoVision homebrew? Not if you have a ColecoVision, 
but have you played any ColecoVision homebrew? Whether you have a cartridge or if you played it emulated on a PC. Um, so let me put up the poll. I see. In... Atari says yes. He Atari has... says he's played some? Yes, he's oh, purring. Okay. So I take that as a yes. Uh, there we go. And start the poll. There we go. So it's just a one for yes, a two for no. You just type it in. And uh, oh, we'll get the ColecoVision off the screen. That's taking over a big part of the screen. Um, and I was talking with somebody from Collector Vision today on Facebook. Nice. And he said, thank you very much for mentioning it <laughs> in the show, because I do want to promote that. Um, any homebrew related uh, topic is uh, something good to promote. Yes. Like so they're keeping uh, ColecoVision alive by providing new hardware. Um, because, you know, they, these old pieces of hardware fail, they get older and older, they don't work as well. That's true. So it's nice to provide something that's brand new. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hardware emulation, so it's not like an emulator, it's emulating the exact hardware of, of the mm -hmm. system. Um, so let's open the box and okay. see what we have in it while the poll runs. And I can't find my... I can't find my box cutter, so I'm gonna have to use a pen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use a pen, and I know this from Atari age because I've. But you I saw the label. I saw the label, and I stripped <laughs> off all the labels, so it doesn't actually say anything on it now. Just that it came to Vancouver, BC, through the airport. <laughs> oh, that's true. How are you doing, Atari? Oh, are you comfy? It's very comfy. It's quite heavy, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put him down at some point. He's <clears> a <throat> solid cat. He is pretty solid. Solid yeah. one cat. Yeah. Oh, did I get the graphic off? Uh, no. No, it's still in the middle. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, not everyone has played. Not yet. No. Homebrew, ColecoVision Homebrew, but some have. Thirty-seven point five percent have played it. So we will get rid of that with my address on it. <laughs> you want some potato? No. Potato puffs? He's not sure. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this is. I know what it is. It is the trackball games. Ooh. Starting with uh, Centipede. Very nice. So these were all games that were released on the 2600 back in the 80s and 90s, but they were released for joysticks. Gotcha. But in the arcade, they were trackball. So, uh, okay. they should have made them for trackball or re-released them On for the trackball, yeah. but they didn't. But some very clever people in the Atari Age uh, community or the Atari community uh, modified these games, so they do work very on cool. the trackball. Uh, Colony 7, uh, Millipede, uh, Nintendo Cades 360. Yes, it has a super game module built into the Phoenix... Uh, uh, collector Vision new system, which is a big bonus. So you can play like the really advanced uh, homebrew, like Gradius. So the Super Game Module is kind of similar to what's inside the um, the cartridges with like the extra hardware support on uh, the Harmony cards, right? The ARM processors that are on this. So they've kind of done the same things for Coleco in on their side of. Uh, up the aisle, I guess. <laughs> Their side of the homebrew. Uh, missile control. Mm -hmm. Some of the these I've never played. Um, like missile control. You never played missile control? This is miss that's not missile command. This is missile command here. Missile control is a totally different game. Oh, okay. I'm, uh, that's what I was thinking. Yes. It's just missile command. So there's missile command. Is one a, is one a sequel to the other? Or are they completely uh, unrelated? I haven't done the research. They don't look alike at all. How much is the system? Ooh, I want to say 299 US is the Phoenix system, um, but you'll have to check it out. It might be 249. No, I think it's 249. Like the base model is the cheapest model um, US for the Phoenix. Uh, Plaque Attack, cool. which is uh, I think you're keeping sweets away from teeth. I believe <laughs> if I haven't nice, played it in nice. a long time. I love the art on the front of it. Oh, the beautiful new yeah, artwork. Really for all pretty. The yeah. Full right to the edges artwork. Um, Space Master X7. 
and Nexar. I think that's, oh, no, one more. I think there's 10 total. Um, and Reactor. Sorry if these are shiny. Well, you can kind of see them. Um, but they're wrapped in protective plastic from Tari Age. Oh, another one. And mm -hmm. the one I really want to play, Star Wars, the arcade game. Mm -hmm. It is like in the arcade where it's all vector-based graphics. Oh, okay. And they did a, an amazing job on Making the Atari 2600, actually. Yes. Yeah. And it's really fun. And then all the manuals for Very these new gorgeous. systems. So we're going to do uh, two days um, of these in the new year. I think it's the first two shows. Excellent. Is we're going to do half of these on one day and half of these on the other Wonderful. day with the trackball. That sounds like fun. It is. Oh, and I got an extra hair from uh, Al. <laughs> so we can... Uh, we can grow a new Al Yeruso. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and some stickers and, and some That's manuals funny. in there. So I think those are $25 each US if you want to <laughs> order those for yourself. Um, those will be a lot of fun. I'm excited. And Trackball games are always fun. Uh, yes, Mr. Fix, I guess I'll have to hunter gather $250. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Um, yep. And a trackball. If you don't have a trackball, too, because yes. you need one of those to play them. Oh, he does have one of them in his mouth. Come on. Can't actually have them. Not good for cats, I don't think. Yeah, you shouldn't tease them. <laughs> That's uh, always, always trouble. So. Yeah. Good luck. So we'll play those, I think, January 2nd? 2nd or 4th. Okay. And then... Post-New Year's? Whatever is the day after that, the 6th or, you know, one of those. Yeah, post-New Year's games. Uh, okay, now what I think that is it for news, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, yep, that is it, and we'll check out the poll, and there we go, and I think it's finalized at 37.5% have played ColecoVision Homebrews, mm -hmm. and 625 have not. Uh, which kind of makes sense. These, this is an Atari 2600 crowd because we're playing Atari 2600 <laughs> well, games. But there is going to be some crossover. I would definitely say the Atari was the more um, popular system in a way. I mean, yes. I, I never played. I never played ColecoVision at all. So I've, I'm yeah. definitely. Um, uh, I would have to pick two for that one. I have. I've never played a homebrew one. So. Yeah, most of my friends. Yeah. Back in the 80s, or obviously had Atari 2600s. Yeah. Some had Coleco's, yeah. some had Intellivision, but most, of course, had, had the 2600 because yeah. it was the dominant uh, dominant system. Yeah. I mean, it sold, outsold them by quite a bit. So it makes sense that it carries over into homebrew mm. uh, the same way mm. that they would be relatively uh, different uh, size of um, no market. Um, and Atari 2600, I believe, is the biggest homebrew market out there. Mm. Beating Nintendo, I think Vectrex is a second place. A lot of Vectrex homebrew, surprisingly. Well, it's such it's, a unique system. Like It, it captures yes. the attention and interest of a lot of people because you... So different. Just, it's nothing you know, like it. Laser-based, vector-based <laughs> games, you know, just yeah. like every, all the old sci-fi TV series and or, or movies uh, from back in the day. Yeah, you know, it it, it it emulates that, which is amazing. So. Yep. Yeah. Um, and yes, I think after the Phoenix comes out, I think those numbers will change because yes. it is actually a. If you buy the Phoenix, it is I think about the same or cheaper than buying all the pieces together, because it has an SD card built into it, mm -hmm. SD card reader, and it has a super game module built into it. Wow. And it has HDMI out. So adding wow. all those mods up and extra pieces of hardware, mm -hmm. it's actually cheaper to buy the Phoenix all together. Mm -hmm. So and Mr. Fix does have Wicco trackball, so he's all set. Excellent. For the new <laughs> games. So we're going to be uh, moving on to the first game of the night, which is not a holiday game, but I had to include it because he just passed over to me the first work in progress, this is Deanoid, of Tower of Rubble. Nice. And so let's get that. Actually, what we're going to do is show the PC version of the game, mm. where it came from. Because I suggested, I saw the C64 port of this game, mm -hmm. Tower of Rubble, and I looked at it and went, oh, that could be made on the 2600. Like, I, I could tell, like, yeah. it could easily be ported over. And I just posted it, like randomly on the Zero Page Homebrew Facebook 
um, just because I thought, oh, somebody, somebody has to make this, Someone please. Will make it. <laughs> and um, Dionoid went, I'll do it. He just stepped up to it, <laughs> stepped amazing. up to the plate, and went, yeah. yeah, this is my next project. That's awesome. Because he had just finished Amoeba Jump, so he was looking for a project to do. Yeah. So let's get this fired up, this, the PC version, and we'll talk, we'll talk about it uh, and play it very briefly. Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Let's not be full screen so that I can actually move the... There it is. And then if we can go full screen... Oh, no. I don't think you can go. That's okay. We can watch it in tiny screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. It'll okay. be fine on that screen over there. Yeah, it will be. That'll yeah. be fine. See how big that is. That's huge. Yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that looks okay. Mm hmm Okay, so, oh, is it going to get it? Give it a couple seconds. There we go. Nice. Oh, I can move it over. Oh, perfect. Okay, there it is. Um, don't know if it'll get the sound from it or not. It should maybe get the sound. But here we go. That's the menu. Let's go back. Tower of Rubble. One second, let me see. Huh, huh. Okay. It's okay. gonna echo. It's gonna echo. Oh, it's getting. It oh, it's getting it from the room. Yeah. No. Okay. We're not gonna have sound with that. Yeah. Okay. So let me click on it. Oh. Oh. I started. Didn't mean to start. Return to the menu. Okay. So you will play it. I will talk about it. I don't know this game. Left, right, um, up, down. Left, right, up, down. Practice till you're ready. There you go. So avoid the dropping blocks. And you can climb up on them by pressing up. There you go. Um, so you can see, this is the PC version. There was a C64 version, but they're fairly similar. Um, so this originally, this PC game was made by Flat Gub, which is a very interesting name. And it, pretty much the instructions say, how long can you survive on the lethal Tower of Rubble as it crumbles and rebuilds itself around you? And this is his entry for the 2017 CGA Jam. So this is using um, CGA graphics. Gotcha. Which I believe is just four colors. Oh, oh, oh you I got didn't squished. Move fast enough. It's no. kind of slow, but uh, to yeah, me. slow reaction time. Yeah. Enter to restart. Escape okay. to return to menu. Um, so you can see how I was like, ah. you went right for it. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see why I was like, oh my god, this is perfect for the 2600. You've got one guy, and it's very square game. Yeah. Um, you can use one of the player graphics for the dude, and the other player graphic for the dropping of, of the uh, extra block. Out of the way! <laughs> and the water at the bottom can just be um, the play field. Up. There you go. And um, those horizontal ones can be just done by the play field as well. And uh, yeah, it, and it's high action, lots of fun. And uh, so yesterday, oh, it's going to crumble, get off it. Oh, you just caught the edge. I don't okay. know how I managed that. <laughs> I'm screwed. Uh, yep, if a block comes down, you are screwed. And okay. it's crumbling and you're screwed. Oh, uh, okay. So that's enough of that. Fun. Yes. So uh, really, really <laughs> cool, awesome, dynamic, fun game. So let's close that out. Go back to us. Get the chat back up. There we go. And uh, so let's show. Oh, now we're going to turn on the Atari. So mm -hmm. I'll put that over here. Let's get the Atari hooked up again and show off Dionoid's first work in progress pass at the game. Atari Hawks. Wait till that comes up on the screen and we'll switch over to it. There we go. 2019. Tower of Rebel. Uh, the second one because he sent me one and then he added some. Uh, music into it. Wait for it to figure itself out. 
reconfigure itself. Go, oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Oh, it looks very true to the uh, original. Yes. Um, so I really like it. this little white, like, the, the little white guy and the way he climbs up things. Oh yes, like really, really smooth animation. Um, so what he did is he studied the original PC version of it and did a frame by frame uh, pixel analysis of the PC wow. version, and it is exactly, exactly the same. So every because the guy is totally recreatable. On, yeah. on the 2600 because of his size. So super smooth. So there's some very super cool great. moves actually. Yes. Um, like when he jumps okay, across. Okay, now press left. Oh, oh, no, hang down. Press right and left. There you go. So you don't have to touch the bottom. Wow. But you can press down while you're, oh. while you're hanging. Press down and you can drop off of it. Now there's another move. Go to the other side of that left block and hang off of it. I don't think you can... There oh, we there we go. Now press left, and you can Ooh, jump across a gap. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. And... He can um, jump up, too. He can jump up and avoid that. So there's a lot of very yeah. specialized moves, way more than a normal 2600 he, he, game. He feels surprisingly agile, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, just, just the way he moves. Yeah, very responsive. And see, he jumps to... Like, you can have different positions for him. It's not just one. Um, and he said the guy has 30 frames per second animation. Okay. Which is a lot more um, animated moves than normally. So that's why it looks so smooth in the running and when he climbs up on a block you can see he's like lots of frames of animation. So th this is what he's got so far. It's, it looks really good so far. Yeah, and I ju yeah. I told him about it on October 17th. Wow, <laughs> that's so a really quick... So it has quick, been um, two months, and he's got all of this very time. Very quick work, yeah. And you can see the, the water goes up and down really yeah. nicely. Yep, yep. So obviously the next part is the dropping blocks and the zapping and the falling away and everything like that. Yeah, that comes with time. <laughs> yeah, so the... Um, all the blocks that he's um, jumping on is all done with play field. Um, so it's just lines. All it is is lines, um, blocks of lines. The water is done with uh, the background, um, background colors. And the guy is using one player. So he's still got all the, both balls, b both missiles, and one player still to work with. For doing all the dropping, so there is lots and That's lots really of, of room because you can use balls and players to make very detailed graphics. Yeah, so this is going to turn out to be an amazingly fun game for the 2600, and it's it's also it's right up his alley because Amoeba Jump was also like that, simple but complex, but addictive and fun at the same time. Yeah. And this game is. A, a random game just like his amoeba jump was a random game where the platforms were and I do agree splendid nut this does look awesome and I'm so so happy <laughs> that I ran across the c64 version of it and posted it and and and, um, and the Dianoid saw, yeah. <laughs> saw and, asked, and asked does anybody want to do this us. one and, yeah. and Dianoid was up for the challenge cool. um, so the PC version is donation aware and you can download the PC version, play oh, it on okay. your computer mm -hmm. for zero dollars or a hundred or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And so you can practice that one that one while you wait for this one to come out. Exactly. Um, so let oh, I didn't put up my graphic. Oh, I spent all this time making graphics and I don't put it up. There we go. There. Beautiful. Tower of Rubble graphics. <laughs> but I guess you saw it when I advertised the show that was going to be on today. Um, so, uh, let's move on to the next game, which is Toy Shop Trouble, which we have played before. So we're yeah, going to play it briefly, because we, we haven't played it, and it's yeah. a holiday it game. It is definitely a holiday game. And I do have this one on cartridge. Oh, yeah, big blue screen. There we go. So... This one obviously is available at Atari Age, which has a lot of homebrew games. Mm -hmm. 
and a great forum as well where I found out, find out about most of the games. Mm -hmm. Some of them games I find out through Facebook and mm. they never even talk about them on the forums. So I do have to look around for a lot of, a lot of the time. Did you have trouble with it last time? Um, possibly. There was one that I did have trouble with, but I think the Tower of Rubble game has a non... It, it's not 262 lines. It's a different number of lines, but... So sometimes it takes a little bit of adjusting to go back to a 262 game. This might be... Toy Shop Trouble might be trouble. Still blue screen. Yeah. A lot of Atari boxes. Atari <laughs> Hawk. Oh, this might be the one that I had trouble with. Might have to send it back to Al. Oh, yeah, there was one Atari I remember we had trouble with before. This might be yeah. it. I do have it on multi-cart. Yeah, so. played it on multi-cart last time. I'll just have to remember that one is the trouble one. Uh, hold down the middle button. And there we go. Thank you. Toy Shop Trouble. And, uh, Do Dee Do, Atari Box. <laughs> Do Dee Do. I remember you can run with the button. Oh, red. There we go. Yeah. I remember this. No, you don't have to press the button. Just go over top of them, but you can hold down the button. Or do you have to press it? Yes, you do. Oh, you do. Okay. I think if you hold down the button, you don't have to press it. That might be. Um, so we played this before, but I'll go over it again briefly. Um... Ah, the Bahamas. Toy shop elves Patrick, Quincy, and Robert are laying on the beach, relaxing in the sun. Nothing could be finer than listening to surf while enjoying a cold drink. A great reward for having gotten all of Santa's toys painted in record time. Unfortunately for you, Patrick's idea of painting toys was dumping them all in a bucket of grey paint. While this technically fulfilled his associates' obligations, thus their trip to the Bahamas, the toys, alas, still have to be painted properly. Now your job to clean up the mess, which means properly painting the toys. In time for Santa's departure for Christmas Eve. Oh, that might be a bit loud for everyone out there. Um, you must paint the toys as they move along the five conveyor belts. Ah, uh, but if it was only that as easy as it sounds, toys must be painted the proper color. Some toys require two coats of paint with different colors. And if that wasn't bad enough, you must have their coats applied in the proper order. Hmm. For the two colors of paint. Proper? No, I don't think you did have to do that. Yes, you did. Really? Yeah. Proper order. I don't remember having to do that. I remember just painting one and then no, just getting no, the other color. No, no, you have to. You have to hit if it's two colors. Like this one is two colors. Yeah. If I recall. I think we might be on the easy version. Maybe. Because you could paint one of those red and oh, maybe not. I don't know. Um. And not that you need the additional pressure, but you also have a daily quota to meet. You must properly paint all the toys that appear on the conveyor belts each day before the whistle at the end of your shift sounds. Santa's counting on you to ensure all the toys are painted correctly. Can you get the job done before Santa's sleigh is loaded up on Christmas Eve? You don't want to be responsible for children waking up to Christmas morning without toys or, toys or gray toys. Yes. Um, can you make it to the 24th day? <laughs> I don't know what we made it to. We def definitely did not finish the game last time. It gets really crazy. Uh, time to juggle those cans of paint and get moving. Toy Shop Trouble was introduced as the 2006 Atari Age Holiday Cart, which I don't have. I have the normal one. Uh, given away as part of our annual holiday sale. Yeah, 2006 before my time. Nintendo says, my personal favorites. I suppose it says there is running. She doesn't want to run. Oh, oh I my told, goodness. I, I didn't told know you that. that. I said, hold down the button to run. You ignored me. Oh, I thought me. you said to hold down the button to, um, to paint. Well, you do. Yeah. And I think you can paint if you're running. You don't have to press it. Yeah, that it. would be. Yeah. 
people are It's been a while frustrated. since I've done it. <laughs> You're walking around. Taking, taking, ah, he moves too fast. But he, it is hard because he does move fast. And you can accidentally paint other things the wrong color. Oh, just caught that. Yeah, one at the top there. Red fire engine. Run. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally run into things. Um, Toy Shop Travel uh, was a collaboration between several homebrew authors and artists, as usually is, uh, with uh, bigger games or complex games. It takes a lot of work to make these games. Many, many hours. Uh, John Payton, Zach Matley, Bob Montgomery, Nathan Strum, David Exton, Fred Quimby, and Thomas Hayes. And others. This effort resulted in a unique and enjoyable homebrew game that was available for a short time as limited number one. Uh, numbered run. We know that not everyone was able to obtain a t copy of Toy Shop Trouble in 2006. And everyone should have the opportunity to enjoy this terrific 2600 homebrew game. Therefore, we've made it available as a normal, unlimited release. And they changed the um, cover of it because they used to have. I think it was, was it numbered before? Yeah, it was numbered. Yeah. So the graphic I have is a not a numbered one, the one up on the screen. Where's a bike before Christmas? Uh, I don't have that cartridge, unfortunately, but it, I do like some games on it, so I might buy a bike before Christmas. Um, we played two out of the four or five games on a bike before Christmas, so I might buy that, that for next year's holiday um, show. <laughs> 2019 Zero Page Homebrew Holiday Show. Because I have literally exhausted all of the homebrew games. I've, I've included every single one. There's tons of hacks. So many, so many hacks out there. But um, not too many of them were like, you know, standalone hacks where they really changed the way the game was. Most of them were like, oh, we're going to change Blonde to Santa. It's like, oh, okay. That's fine, but it's not a whole new game. It's just a game that looks a slightly different. Rocket have to be blue, blue and red. Blue and red. Four seconds. Ooh. I didn't even realize the time was counting time. down. <laughs> You're only on December 9th, December 10th. Oh no! It is a fast-paced game. It is. Fourteen toys. Nice. I think the problem that it gets to me is that it gets too many memorizations of things. Tiki Dan K, welcome to the show. We're playing some Christmas games today. Christmas themed, holiday themed games. And the first one is Toy Shop Trouble. And unfortunately my card is not working, so we're doing it off the multi-cart. Now I'm gonna have to look at this after the show and see if I can get it working. Clean it a bit, even though it's brand new. And I've never actually played it if it's never actually worked. I think we used off the wrong. I'm gonna have to check the the video from before, because if it wasn't working last time and we couldn't get it working this time, I'm gonna send it back or I don't know, do something with it. That's no good. I want to make sure they're all working. I'm not putting on houses. Okay, those are brown and green. The green. Oh. Is there only a maximum of three coming out on a line? So I need the boats. Is brown? Is the boat brown as well? Yes. Okay, so that's a good one to get next. And they go away completely when you color them, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, nice. Eight. Oh, all you need is yellow. You're done. As long as you don't color anything else. There you go! Not too bad. Oh. Yeah. What's next? Oh, same. It does. It does it yeah. kind of twice. The colors in this game are really nice. And the graphics are so detailed. Uh, single line, um, single line Pexel graphics. Oh, yeah. Because so you go over top of them and it tells you what it's supposed to be, right? That's handy. Yeah. 
yellows, the boats, and the candy canes. No candy cane. Oh, and the Adat -at walkers. Mm -hmm. And brown. I've got your black ones here. Rockets. One more rocket at the bottom. And then red. Uh, oh, there you go, you got it. Perfect. Oh, getting better actually. You may hit a point though. <laughs> you're late, oh, you're getting I haven't seen the controllers oh, before. We've never made it this far. No, it must have been easier. We haven't made it this far. We must have played the uh Oh, you version. know what? That's okay. Setting. It's too late. I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> the, I, I, the difficulty's on A on the left. Yeah. That's okay. I can't remember what hard. Hard was shorter time. Yes. That's yeah. why. It's okay. But we get to see more things. No wonder you're doing so well. Well. <laughs> well or we I'm getting better at it. That's may, another reason. No, that, that is another possibility. Maybe. The joysticks are, are white too. White and black. No, red and black. Are they red it. and black? Red and black. For nope. No, oh, they're just black. No, they're red. They're red no, as well. No, no, it gave a it gave an error noise. What? Oh, because the button's red. Is okay. it just black? It's just black then. I don't know. Because up at the top it shows red, gray, and black, but I guess that's the detailed version of it. I don't know. I think it might just be black. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's just black. Is it? Yeah. Ugh, waste of time. Yes, it was. Hole is closed. Get the ship. I need green. Uh, this is not good. Nope. Seven seconds left. I think you can do it. No, I no, don't you got think. three colors. You need blue on that one and then no. yellow. Oh. oh! Game over. One shot. <laughs> Didn't get the choice. Thirteen. Oh, you unscrewed this. There we go. Me? Yeah. I guess so. The ball gets unscrewed. I think you're gripping it too tight. That is certainly possible. <laughs> <laughs> Red trucks. Yellow horns. Trumpets. Mm -hmm. oh, oh well. We are at work today, and we were having a debate on. Um, oh. Ah, no. Go back. What the twelve days of Christmas were, and debate what without looking it up, without looking it okay. up, and uh, there's no debate, <laughs> and it was quite funny because none of us got it right. Oh, uh, from about five gold rings onwards, that was not a problem. Okay, but like the anything, s well, basically Oops. six, six and above, we were getting very confused. <laughs> six lords a leaping, seven maids a milking. Well, twelve. What's twelve? That's the one you only hear once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the hard one. Yes. I don't know what 12 is. What was it? Do you remember? Uh, 12 drummers drumming. I oh, remember that. Okay. Not that I haven't heard uh, it. I'm... 12 drummers drumming. Mr. Fix drummers. says, nice work, Tenya. Thank you. Um, yeah. So we just found that very funny because, uh, you know, didn't, didn't matter how many times you sung that song in your life, uh, for some reason, um, it's just very hard to remember what all the what all the uh, twelve items are. Yes, that's you need a lot of items. Yellow. yellow. So I got everything else. Yes. Yay. Fire truck's just red. Same. Okay. Red. 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 <laughs> White, 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 white. Oh, that's not white. Um, that's white. Um, green. Yellow. Yay. And I need red. You don't get penalized if you get it wrong, right? No, it just, I don't think so. It just makes that noise. It goes. Pss, pss, pss. Can you get that cat off there? <laughs> Immediately. Oh, he's. He might be the best. Yeah, there's a flashing. Slides Rude so solo light. light. That's yeah. what it's called. Uh, let me find that. S I don't think he turned anything. He did. Oh, did he? I think we're okay. Check, check. Yep, we're still coming through. <laughs> Bad cat. You may have to be kicked out next time. Yes, no. 
no, he has no, no different. Oh, don't blame the kitty. No. Yellow, yellow, white. Boats are white and white brown. brown yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Then I'm doing white, and brown, 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 brown. Need green. Oh no! It totally destroys it. Like, if you put the wrong color on it, and mm -hmm. it's a two-color thing, mm -hmm. it's over. Yeah. It just totally destroys any color you put on it. Yep. Uh, and you have to redo it from the beginning. Boom. The game is very well done like Christmas Tapper. Yes! Very much like Christmas Tapper with the, the bars, the long bars. Is, was tapper? there why no Tapper? Yep. I didn't know there was a Christmas Tapper. That's not a Christmas Tapper. Okay. That would be, that cool. would be very cool. People with a little Santa hat. Yeah. And you're an elf. Yeah. You're serving beer. Well, no, you just need to be the barkeep. No, nope. uh... elf, elf barkeep. <laughs> and and each each beer should have a candy cane sticking out of it. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Somebody can do a hack of uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Tapper. There we go. Christmas Tapper. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Another repeat. White, white. Excellent. White, white. Ooh, lots of boats. Yay. Yeah, the boats are good. Boats. And let's go for yellow, 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 and red. Um, no, I'm gonna go brown. Brown, brown. There's lots of ships here. And red. You missed one. That's okay. And green. Ah. Come out here. Brown. There you go. No. Oh, no. Oh. Fifteen seconds. No. <laughs> Yeah, I like the running, but you do end up all over the place. So. Come here. The way about that. Cakewalk Christmas. You play Cakewalk Halloween. Cakewalk Christmas. Okay. White. 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 No. White. No. White. No. No, not the missiles. They're red and blue. Oh. There you go. Red. Yellow. No, no, yellow. Yellow. <laughs> and You're the brown. The, the panicking. boats are what? Brown and white. See, I didn't have to ask. <laughs> I need you should help. just know. Oh no. Uh, red and white. Oh, uh, what are those? Canes, red and. Yeah, there you go. And then white for the candy cane. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cakewalk Christmas would be a good hack. You played, cake, played Cakewalk Halloween. Did you yeah. play? Did you play Halloween? Halloween games? No. Yes. Cakewalk Halloween. I, I think so. And they the say I did. <laughs> <laughs> You've already forgotten. I have a terrible forgotten. memory. <laughs> I have a terrible memory. What is the cat into? You have to watch Oh, him. I'm watching. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? Brown. <laughs> Yeah, brown you, for you the need boats. everything. You need uh, brown. brown for the boats, white for the boats, white for the adats. White for white, the candy canes. White for the so candy I'll do canes. That. Uh, blue for the ships. Yeah, the, red for the ships. Red for the ships and the candy cane. Yellow for the horn. Green for the monster. Green for Godzilla. And what else? The white ship. for the ship. White for the ship. Five seconds. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Didn't even get to the Atari controller. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the next game. No, I'm no. <laughs> you can talk about the next game. <laughs> no, I can't talk about the next game until we play the next game. I'm gonna put you on the hard only level. Play it once. I'm gonna put you on the hard level. You can put me on the hard level if you want. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> there you go. Now you're on the hard level. Oh, cakewalk was a conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Drop that. things in the right. You yes. Can stop. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Yes, it was yes, Freddy yes. Krueger and, and yes. Michael Myers and masks and stuff. You were playing that. Yes, that's right. Is he eating the Probably. box of things? He is a bad cat. He is a bad cat. I think you start with less time. Oh my God, yeah, the time is counting down way quicker. Hello, hello, Atari. Yes, definitely Cakewalk uh, Christmas would be really appropriate. That would work well. I mean, it's similar to this. It's got different options for stopping the conveyor belts, but um, that could be converted quite easily. 
in terms of graphics and making sense. <laughs> when you're running? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's, that's, you're out that's of the control. Trade -off. It's a trade-off, right? Out of control. <laughs> and the, the danger of accidentally painting something else, which is devastating. Uh. Oh, and the conveyor belts are all different speeds. I don't know if they were different they were. speeds in the other yeah, one. Yeah, they were. Yeah. I just didn't notice. I was just like, paint, paint, must paint. Okay. Yeah, the object of the game is to make it to the 24. But. I don't know. It must so be insane hard. by that point. It's so hard. Red trumpet. So it doesn't matter too much. It's more annoying if you. Um, Repaint. From yeah. something proper, yeah. From what, what it should be. Oh, so there is a gray paint bucket. So some things actually need to stay gray. And the gray would be repainted after you have to change them to another color. There is a gray one. That is true. Ah. Ah. <laughs> There's lots of things on the screen that you don't need to paint at any given time. Whenever you change colors, it's like, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is so bad. Now you're done for it. Quick, you need one more. Oh, did you accidentally paint one? No. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> you're really out of control when you're running. <laughs> yes. Neo Tokyo did a Christmas hack of Cakewalk. Oh, he did. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny Tenspeed. Um, so there is one. It's too late. Can't play it. I guess I could include it. Quickly. Quickly on the show. Or, oh, sometimes Neo Tokyo doesn't release his bins, though. may not be possible to download. Take a look, quick look for that. Many things. Let's put Atari 2600. Cool. Oh. Ah. I found where it's being sold. Oh, it's got the little snowman and all the nice graphics. But, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Santa's but I doubt it. You can download the ROM. It usually doesn't. Okay, clock. Send his workshop. If I can spell it right. There we go. by Arena Foot and see what his uh, list says, whether a ROM was ever released of it. Because he keeps very good track of these things. December 10th. Come on. It's a huge list. It takes forever to load up. So 
did you get all your wrapping done yet? No. Oh. <laughs> I've got all my wrapping done. It was on the day where we said we were going to do our wrapping. I know, but there was stuff to, other stuff to do. That's true. Oh, no. 16 seconds. Oh. Not enough time? No, no, Santa's we'll workshop pack. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, what's going on? Is that a yes that it's available? Oh. No, shoot. Okay. Oh, oh December, December 10th. 10th. So it is harder. It is harder. A little bit less time. Workshop wrong, but I don't think there is one. Play. Ah, <laughs> oh my goodness. That's That's the point. Are you trying to find oh. it to pull it up? Or? Oh, he did. He did release it. Okay, so we might play that later. Um, <laughs> and if I get the chance to download it. So the next game we're going to take a look at is. Toy Shop Terminator. So hold down the button. So go to today's date. Oh, I think this needs paddles. Does it? Yeah. So go to the bottom one. It's a long name for a game. That's why you can't see the date. <laughs> but it's always in order, so. Needs paddles, so I'm gonna get a paddle. So this game is, I believe, kind of like Fruit Ninja. Okay. Where you're chopping up toys or something. Let's take a look. one is which. So this is made by Carl G. Press one of the buttons. There you go. Play with that one. Um, and what does he say about it? This was first posted, uh, let's see, when was this first posted? Not too long ago. <clears throat> Did I die because I hit the sock? Uh, yeah, I think you have to hit good toys. And not, oh, I and see. And not terrible presents. Okay. Uh, he first originally uh, posted this on uh, December break, December 12th, 2018. So this is a brand new uh, homebrew. And it is still work in progress. So this is not the final version. Uh, I'm sharing an early work in progress version of this game in time for Christmas. Please let, please let me know what you think of the concept and gameplay. Uh, if you think the concept and gameplay is promising for a more complete version later. What did you hit? I don't know. <laughs> a, rock? a rock? A rock coal, maybe. Maybe, maybe it was maybe a pet rock. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Premise. You are a robot programmed to take the fun out of Christmas. Your creator was a permanent fixture on Santa's naughty list and only got the naughty kids presents. So she programmed you to make sure the other kids don't get fun presents. So you're destroying the fun presents. Oh, got the coal again. You have, infer you have infiltrated one of Santa's toy warehouses. Your mission is to destroy as many fun toys on the conveyor belts as possible with your slicer drone before you're discovered by security. Uh, gameplay. Use the paddle controller knob to choose position of the slicer drone and the button to slice. Get as many toys as you can in one minute. Um, and this, he posted, um, the first version that he posted, was, it was kind of funny, because I ran across it, because I, I keep checking the, the forums all the time. And the first version was labeled, don't play this on zero page homebrew yet. <laughs> I've never talked to this per I think maybe I have talked to this person before, but I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> that he's like, no, don't play it on the show yet. And then and then I uh, messaged him, he's like, oh, I only have one more day of um, playing 
holiday homebrew, so can you update it so I can play it on the show by then? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, he sent yesterday, hi, I don't know if you noticed, but I updated the game with a few improvements. If you want to play it on your show with the disclaimer that is a, it's a very early work in progress, then feel free. I'm interested... It too early to me. It's definitely playable. Yeah. I'm interested in feedback on if the game mechanic works well enough or if I should rethink it before fleshing it out further. Um, so to do on his game still is visible conveyor belts. Vertical conveyor belts. Because gotcha. so, they're actually on conveyor belts. So it's like yeah, five. Yeah, I would guess that. It kind of like floating like... toys. Right? Yeah. So that would help. And those can be... I love the monkey. <laughs> Very nice. Good book. job programming the monkey. The monkey is super cute. Yeah, very nice graphics and big graphics yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's very, very cool. Very nice colors and very nice multicolored um, graphics as well. Um, multiple waves with different toys. I think it's just rather draw than all rather the than toys. all the toys at once. Yeah. Um, multiple lives. Uh, you lose one when a naughty to this naughty toy is destroyed nice. by mistake. So this is as many as you can get in one minute. Yes. That's why it just stops. It just stops, So yeah. you got 280. Um, he says, yeah. better sound effects. Those are done. Title screen with Christmas music is done. Add a naughty t list of toys that shouldn't be destroyed. Done. So let me give it a go. I'm going to run out very briefly. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I might come back with a cat. Ah. We'll see. Also, another thing to add is the button should restart the game, so you don't have to lean forward every time and press reset. So that is a very helpful thing that Modern Homebrew do, um, does, so you might want to add that to your to-do list. So let's see. Nobody wants rattles. I don't know what that is, a boomerang? Get that. Ooh, they get fast. I don't know what that red thing was. Oh, tanks. Planes. It's all good. I think. So you can almost not even make it a paddle game. Because the best position. Oh, the red thing's a yo yo. Thank you, Chive574. So I do chop the yo yo. Because you wouldn't want to be at the top of the screen, and you wouldn't want to be at the bottom of the screen. Because unless you're just getting toys going down, but still it's very dangerous to be there because you might accidentally hit uh, something that just comes on the screen uh, all of a sudden. So I got 290. Yeah. Chop, 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 chop. So you can almost make this a joystick game too because moving from the center is not what you what you want to do. So what to make it a paddle game you'd have to offer some incentive to be to go to the top or the bottom of the screen. Oh, I just missed. almost got that rock. So what you could do is like have this thing get power-ups or something along the side, like get it from the top or bottom. I guess I'm not supposed to get that pencil. Kids don't want pencils for Christmas. Oh, I hit the pencil. But I got 260. So that you could um, get like bonus time at the top or bottom of the screen. Uh, unless you wanted to keep it to a minute total. But it might be better to have power ups or something. Or, I don't know, bonus life, but that's a bit much. It's a bit too much to get bonus lives, possibly. But I think if you do introduce a uh, number of lives, you may want to um, extend the time. Ooh, I almost did Hedrock. Airplane. Some of these are really fast. Yeah, because I feel no inclination to move my guy from the center whatsoever. Oh, 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 ball. oh you brought a black and white cat. Will he stay? Probably not. Like He's nice. also dressed for the holidays. So. 
in black and white. Oh, I got 380. Don't scratch them. I definitely want to leave. <laughs> oh, hi. You gonna attack and be mean? Was he sleepy? He was. This is this is Pixel, and he's named Pixel because he's got a a black pixel, a burnt out pixel on his tummy. Yeah. Just a burnt out little black pixel there. And Can he's you see dressed it? up. Well, you can't see him. Move him. He needs to. Can you see, he's dressed up. Can oh, you can't see him. He is dressed up in a tux. Yeah, no, look. Oh, he's got a bow on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me just go to full screen there. Yeah. There you go. Oh, polka dot bow. Oh, that's the cutest. Yeah. How do you like your polka dot bow? Not very much. <laughs> Not so much. Not so oh, much. Oh, but you are cute. Yeah. Even though you hate it. Yeah. We're all dressed up for the holidays. So I got 380. Oh, okay. That's my top oh, score. I, I think I just got maybe 280. Okay. Yeah, you got 280. Maybe if the toys decelerated near the far end of their direction, it'd be worth the risk. Yes. That's right. So you chase after them. Um... Because they go really fast right now, like really fast. Um, so that would be an idea, that's for sure. <laughs> and it's kind of smart making your oh, kids don't want pencils. Leave yes, the pencils. Pencil <laughs> nope, these kids don't. Yeah. That's one of those things I do not want. <laughs> There's a couple of different monkeys. Different monkeys? I thought I saw another one. That's another monkey. No, no, That's not a, that. No. It's a boomerang. A bowling ball. No, oh, not the sock. Not the sock. Don't destroy the socks. Those are destined for bad kids. Not just socks. Point out the other monkey when you see him. I thought I, I, thought I saw a different looking monkey go by, but I could be wrong. There's that monkey. Yeah. That's the normal monkey. I love that monkey. That's like a sock monkey. Right? No, I know, but I, I uh, something went by really fast. I, it might have been the same monkey. <laughs> yeah, it was a fast Sometimes version they of the move monkey. Really fast. See bowling balls. Yep, yep, bowling balls. I just don't understand why a child. Oh, Ooh, the underwear. Don't get the pencil. I, I don't understand why they wouldn't want the pencil, but they would want the bowling ball. That's true. Kids want bowling balls. Nintendo says Nintendo 360 says nice cats. Thank yes, you very much. They, they are. are very nice cats when they're behaving. But like all cats, they misbehave. And he's trying to get the bow off. Oh yeah, oh, he's full of anger. Full of anger. Oh, very close to you. 340. Can you Cat open the door? Anger. It's boiling in here. Yeah. <laughs> to adjust his tie. You might want to change the bowling ball into something that you are like not a supposed to get. Maybe? Oh, a baseball might be better. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, so gray. No. It, looks, it almost looks more like a coconut because it's not that. A coconut. Right. You know, it's a little more oblong. That's true. Coconut. So I was saying that it's not very useful to have it as a. Um, a paddle game if there's no incentive to move up and down. Yeah. Because being in the center is the best. Yeah, you just wait till it, you, you're just timing it, really. And I think that's because, um, like what um, R RC7E says, that mm. the things go too fast. There's no, it's too fast to chase any of them. Mm. So there's no reason to go down and catch anything. Yeah, if you slowed them down enough that you needed to catch them. I mean, it's neat that you can move it across the screen, but... Uh, That's just a button. You can do that on you the joystick. Can you, but you can adjust that to where you where your mental timing is, too. But, no, I know, I know what you're saying. The original intent had been to swipe with a paddle controller. Oh! Ah, that's neat. Yeah. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. Ooh, I got that pencil. 340. I'll take a pencil. Yeah, how would that, would that work? Yeah, because, th but then you wouldn't be able to move up and down if the swiping was the paddle, right? Yeah. That might be more fun, actually. Swiping back and forth and have it stay in the center because then you have to get out of the way of bad things. 
And the button would toggle up and down. Toggle up and down. It would, oh. it would move on its own up and down. Like you hold down the button and it starts moving up and down like this because the button is just zero, zero socks score. for you. Socks for me for <laughs> But yeah, I would either turn it into swiping left and right, which is a very cool concept, or make an incentive to keep it like this and then have an incentive to go to the top or bottom to collect, have some collecting, something to collect, like a power up or I don't know, something, something like that. Um, extra bonus time. Um, sure what you mean by pressing the button to toggle up and down because button is just a one thing or maybe you can or you i don't know toggle between rows oh the underwear <laughs> funny dual pedal etch a sketch oh my god <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare <laughs> moving in all directions yeah what was that game that i had it was actually etch a sketch actually that we played on the show there was an etch a sketch with huge Use both paddles. It was very confusing. It was very hard to do. You'd have to, you have to kind of tape them and configure them so one is on the top and one is on the side. Like you could do that. It's, it's big risk because <laughs> it's very hard to control that, and you'd have to sell people a block of wood as well, or tell them to put it on a Rubik's cube and tape it to a Rubik's cube or some other square thing. <laughs> I like the spinning top. Very colorful. All the all the mm. characters, all the things are very colorful. Oh, Ooh. you just missed that spot. I, I seem to be missing everything anyway, so <laughs> it would be quite ironic if after missing a whole ton of stuff, I suddenly hit a sock. Yes. And I've noticed if you stay dead center, a lot of things line up mm. perfectly in the middle, so you can always you can get two at a time. I don't find that though. No? I, I was having. I was getting a lot of center. twos in the row. Should I play one more time, or are you? If, if you like. Do you want to play after, or are, you, or are we moving on? Uh, no, we will be moving on after we <clears throat> finish this. And did I? No, I didn't miss anything. <laughs> so yeah, it's a uh, really good start. And the concept it's, is really It's really good. cute. I really yeah. do it. It does feel Fruit Ninja-y. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, definitely Fruit Ninja-y, which yeah. is nice. It's a... Yeah! It's... So and I don't think... port that to a paddle alone. And I don't think there has been a Fruit Ninja game for the 2600. Of that style. Of that style. No. That I've seen no. on Homebrew. Very, so... Uh, very it needed unique. to be done. Very cool. Yep. So let's swap out the paddle, because I don't think any of the other ones are paddle games. Where's my end? No! Where does this go? There it is. <laughs> Don't you hate that? When you lose the end of your controller, yeah. it's just the worst. Stuck for days. <laughs> Stuck for days. So the next uh, game... Somebody's unscrewing it again. A very galactoct galactopus... Um, very galactopus Christmas. Okay. By... Uh, whew, uh, Keru Yojimbo. Kairu? Kairu Yojimbo. I think that's how you say Keiru? his name. Kairu? Kairu? Uh, what's it spelled like? Kairu Yojimbo? Yeah, Kairu? 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 Yeah. Kairu Yojimbo. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and this is a new game as well. Uh, this was originally posted on December 7th, 2018. Ooh, a trackball. Yes, that would be Agreed. the best. Somebody needs to make a trackball fruit ninja game <laughs> for the 2600. Please, there's an idea for a game. Of course, there's a million ideas for games. There's less programmers than there are um, ideas for games. Am I destroying the presents or am I picking them up? <laughs> well, let's see. Um... It was the night before Christmas, and all around the earth, humans were celebrating Jesus' birth. They, they cheered, and they sang, and they rang festive bells, so loudly it reached where Galactopus dwells. There's no Christmas spirit in the, the cold, airless void, and the Cephalopod was becoming annoyed. He crossed the vast distance to earth in a hurry, and began his assault with unparalleled fury. Octonium bombs wrapped up like presents dropped from the sky, 
to make things unpleasant. Our defenses were holding, but only just barely, as Galactopus pummeled our forced field unfairly. So we sent up a spaceship to chase him away, and maybe, just maybe, save Christmas Day. <laughs> Very cute. Very yes, cute. so the backstory. I started this a couple years ago, but stopped working on it uh, as the concept evolved into Miss Galactus. I dug it, dug it out the other day and started fiddling around with it, thinking that maybe finishing it would help inspire uh, to finish that cat. <laughs> Actually finish Miss Galactopus. I guess we'll see if that happens. Uh, Galactopus flies across the sky, dropping Octonium presents presence. Shoot them before they hit the force field. I guess the purpley bluish little area? Uh, every bomb that hits the force field weakens it a little. If a bomb gets through the force uh, gets through after the force field is gone, Christmas is ruined <laughs> and the game is over. I ended up bumping this game up from 2k to 4k so there's a lot of ROM left. I don't think I'll add anything to the gameplay. Instead, I'll use that space to stuff in as many Easter eggs as I can take. So that is, that's the, that's the game. Um, shoot the presents. <laughs> oh, faster now. Oh, did it speed up a little bit? A little bit. See, this could be a paddle game. Anywhere where you're, oh, good shot. Anywhere you're, where you're moving on only one plane. Oh, oh weekend. That's a lot harder. Always move towards the center after every. Well, it... oh no! You follow the you follow the octopus actually. Where? Oh, did he get through? I don't know. I, it hit me. See that got. That through. got through. There we go. It's a simple game. Maybe a little too simple. <laughs> <laughs> a little too simple. Yeah. But it is getting he harder, but it, it, is he getting a little faster? It almost needs to get faster a little quicker. Yeah, it needs to ramp up uh, faster. Uh, oh. I got is I don't it getting see it, thinner? No, I don't see it getting thinner. It's a little. Oh, oh, now it's gone. Oh, it just it just counts and then it disappears. Oh, you're dead. Oh. Uh, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start that again. I, well, it just started immediately. <laughs> Yeah, needs to be a pause after you die, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, and I think the bottom thing needs to get thinner as as it hits. Yeah, because like you, one you don't really know how far away you are from uh, uh, it disappearing. Yeah. Somebody's up the stairs. And I did play this, I think. Pretty accurate with where you hit it. Oh. Somebody's go go go! Somebody wants something. Some stompy person. All right. Maybe they're bringing presents or video game presents. Somebody's at the door. And I also think shooting the octopus should get you points. Oh, it does get you points. Okay. Not as much as the presents. It should give you more points. Because that is hard to get, that dude. And he should maybe change color. Maybe the object of the game should be getting the octopus. Well, the force field changes color, but it's pretty subtle. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe it should be like from green to red. I think it should just get thinner. That would be a better way to indicate. And it could go in waves of shooting the octopus, and the octopus could change color as you shoot him. Ooh, got him in the... Well, he's still holding it. I should get bonus. Is it delivery? Yes! Is it for me? No! Oh, not video game sun wrap. for me. For you? Yeah. Was it for me? No. Oh. <laughs> it was something for me. So it's not for me at I all. I was very excited. It was a FedEx guy. Uh, so, um, Johnny Penspeed says that the force field color changes. Uh, so it goes very from a lighter subtle. to a darker, it looks like, maybe? Uh, darker to lighter. Darker to lighter. Oof. Uh, and then just here's the it. But I think it should go thin. Thinner? Because that's easier to tell. Or more, I don't less... know, is that easy to program, or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You just stop drawing it or change the color. I agree, the thinner, thinner would, would show a decrease in, in size, but... 
it's nice. Because right now it's programmed to draw X lines and then stop drawing mm. after X lines. Gotcha. And you just have a variable instead of a constant. Uh, Johnny Tensfeet says, try Ms. Galacticus. It's a much deeper version of the game. Uh, okay. So you're this keeping is just this one simple then. This is the Christmas version. So. Okay. Yeah. So. Which is still cool. Save the suggestions for the Ms. Galacticus. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us yeah. on the stream, Johnny Tenspeed, um, to watch us play your game. It's always great to have the developers in the chat so they can hear our suggestions. So maybe these uh, suggestions will apply to... I'm so dead so soon, but uh, <laughs> somehow I'm staying alive. Because mm -hmm. sometimes he um, starts flickering, but it's not because he got hit. It's because the presents are two colors, as you can see, drawn on the same line. So you're using two players. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a player, and the 2600 only has two items to draw with. Uh, two players to draw with. So that's I, why it uh, starts flying. I do like the detail of the bullet appearing at the front of the uh, spaceship. Yeah, and that's... It, it, you kind of, it appears and disappears and appears and disappears. That's actually a really nice touch for something so small. That's actually the default of how, uh, oh. how the 2600 works. Yeah. Because it's kind of a reset. It resets to its original or, uh, location. Mm -hmm. I don't know what score I got because it just went away, so... I don't know if, it's, if Ms. Galactopus... Um, immediately restarts the game, but it definitely shouldn't because it's too quick. <laughs> it <is a> little <laughs> it's quick. too quick. Didn't even see... Uh, yeah, so it's a nice It's not little... good if you're switching switching players. No. Let's just say. <laughs> if you're just other... playing continuously yourself, that's, that's yeah, it's totally, totally fine. fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, here. thank you for making it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, because... We'll have the... to try Mrs. Uh, sorry, Ms. 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 to you. Ms. Galactopus. <laughs> Unmarried or does yeah. not want you to know. That's right. Um, I mean, there is a male version. There's Master and Mister, nah. but it's never used. But Mister, Mister, yeah. no. But I mean, Mister is Mister. I mean, there's there's no change. There's no change in in. Um... But there could be if they ke if you kept Master until you got. Uh... No, but but why? What's the point? Use Mister well, for everything. Yeah, well, what's the point of females changing? Well, because there's Miss and and Misses, and Miz is the. That's is sexist. The one is the non um, kind of undefined? Yes. Married versus unmarried. So you're saying Mister is undefined as well? Mister is oh, undefined. Okay. Yeah. And there just doesn't, there isn't one for being married. Not really. It's for always Mister for yes. males. Yeah. Yeah. So. so they need to come up with one for a married man then. No. Or get rid of the. <laughs> no, they don't need to care. The, the, you're missing the point of this entirely. <laughs> the point is, is that it should. It doesn't matter if you're married or unmarried. Yes. It should be one. one what do you call that? So what is the designation, designation. for females then? Miss, like all Ms. the time. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, there's nothing wrong if you want to be called Mrs. Yeah. Call whatever you want. You want called... that defined? There's nothing wrong with that either. But um... Be called Octopus O'Brien. Octopus O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to. And you will get strange looks, but you can be called yes. that if you want. Octopus O'Brien. I kind of like that. <laughs> so a, it's a double O. Yeah. O, O. It's just called Galactopus for the first game. So this is like a sequence uh, of games. Nice. Like Ms. Pac-Man. I was just going to say that. I like it. Uh, yeah. Pac-Man. Ms. Pac-Man. Christmas Pac-Man. Christmas Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, there must be somebody with I'm Christmas sure Pac-Man I'm sure someone's made a Christmas version of Pac-Man. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, no, oh, no, no. I hate one. it when he does oh, that. No. I hate that. So it, it definitely, the game definitely gets hard enough that you will die. It just takes a little while to get there. It's a very slow, gradual ramp up. Which is not, you know, not terrible. But you do have to, like, as soon as you shoot it, start following the octopus around. Yeah. Like, could this game ever get so hard that a computer couldn't beat it? Like, is there an impossible situation? Where the octopus drops a present there, uh, and then drops it on the opposite side. I'm down. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a slow moving present. <laughs> when, it, when, it, when it starts over again. It's just Hi. really big and really high in the air. He's still got his, he's still got his bow tie on. I thought Does it would he? be ripped off by now. But well, if he can't get it off, then, then he's stuck. 
He's stuck he, with he it, does, isn't he? Um, for the um, video game awards, we will have to put him in his tuxedo. Though. A nice, another no, nice bow tie for him. Well, we got a tuxedo. Oh, it's a full bib. Yeah, yes, that's yeah, right. we have a tuxedo. For him, so. we'll see how long that lasts. Because uh, no. <laughs> he can, he can tear that off. Yeah. Um, so the next game is called Tossing Cookies Two by mm. Chris Reed. Um, uh, slash Atari Twenty Six Hundred Land. So mm -hmm. if you want to load that up, and we did play uh, Tossing Cookie. If you want to load that up. <laughs> um, we did play the first one on last Wednesday's episode. Sorry, Tossing Cookies too. Yeah. And this is like a... He, he uh, said... Oh, let me switch it over. Yeah, it's quite a title screen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is... It's hard uh, to see, see what it's, uh, what's written in... Green and white and red. It's it very is... festive. <laughs> very festive. And crazy on the eyes. Mm. And it doesn't have qu it quite mapped out properly of when it switches colors. Maybe it's my system, but uh, it's not quite lined up, right? Mm -hmm. It's like one off the whole way down. Um, he says, I've been thinking about how people didn't like the game I made for the 27, uh, 2007 Atari Age holiday cart. That was over two years ago. Like, this isn't a new game. Um, and I think I've learned enough to make a more decent one. So I've been working on Tossing Cookies 2, a sequel. There's only one level. And background. So far, it repeats over and over. Once the title screen kernel is ready, I bet I can make a more awesome title screen than the one I have now. In this version, you get five seconds of cookie collecting and 20 seconds to catch the reindeer. What do you think so far? So this is an, ab an abandoned game um, from 2012. So mm -hmm. press the button. You have to go get the cookies. So you have five seconds to collect cookies. Uh, so it counts up for... And then you have to toss the cookies, but I think it, and it only tosses them down. You have to throw them at the reindeer. And then you have to collect the reindeer after you hit the reindeer. Okay, so the number on the left is how many cookies you have. Oh my god, counts. We get the reindeer. There you go. I don't really, oh, you, you hit them once and get them? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hit them once, get them, hit them again, get them. No, you have to, you have to hit them first. I thought you tossed cookies at him. Yep, toss cookies, then collect. I don't understand. <laughs> now go toss a cookie at him. No, you can't get him yet. There you go. But you can be a distance from him. You don't have to be right on top of him. But well, obviously it's that easier, works. <laughs> actually. It works quite well if you're immediately on top of him. It does. Yeah. I think in the original game it hurts you. If, oh. if he touches you, you have to toss a cookie at him. So that doesn't work. But Because this is a work in progress. Or maybe it's killing me, but it's just restarting Possibly, because it is. Because he does turn kind of a darker shade of brown. That's when you can get him. Yeah. So pretty much that's all there is to this game. Because <laughs> it is a work in progress. Game. I seem to just hit him and he disappears, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. <laughs> okay. I'm not entirely certain. And I've disappeared. Oh, there I am. Into the, cloud, into the green clouds? <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think the, the original game just had like a maze and it wasn't um colored at all is there a bad cat you. there there's a bad cat stop it oh, i don't have any cookies to toss no and game over mm, yeah, smack, 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 smack that reindeer <laughs> come here reindeer because in the original game you have to collect a certain number of reindeer because you think you need them to you know help you move your sleigh around on christmas and cookies and reindeer. Ooh. Yeah, that's all there is to this. I I don't it's know a if little he'll, simplistic. A little <laughs> simplistic. I don't know if he'll continue on with this game or not. It's been a number like six years since he last did this one. But. Oh, okay. So if you press the button over and over again, it stops the cookie from falling and drops another one. Four to drop. Oh, no. Okay, you don't run out of cookies. As long as you get one cookie, I think. Mm -hmm. So I get one. Wait for the timer to time out. Yeah, you get infinite cookies as long as you collect one cookie. So there's still bugs in it. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't use up your cookies. But it does go to the cookie screen as soon as you get the deer. Yeah, it does. Or reindeer, yeah. See, yeah, I see it. Two, one. 
and then, then it I becomes can, infinite. It never goes to zero. So you, it, 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 that hasn't been programmed into it yet. Then. Yeah. So that's it okay. for this game. <laughs> I think that's done. <laughs> Super simple. There's not much more to say yeah. about it. It's very, very similar to the original one. Um, but he just started from scratch again, I think. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to play Gingerbread Man. Okay. And, uh, I remember you playing this game. Last time we made it about halfway through. But it repeats, game. right? It repeats, repeat? but gets harder. Okay. And a little bit different. And I do have the cartridge for this one. Gingerbread Man. Oops. So total there are 20 levels. Mm. I think we made it more than 10. But not many more than 10. But now we know how to play and do all the levels. It will be much faster to get up. Uh, Let me switch over. Gingerbread man. There we go. That looks funny. And wrong. Funny and wrong. That looks better. <laughs> uh, okay. Play first. My dear. You are, I think, getting to the top on this one. Can you throw things like by pressing up or down? Press up or down? No. Oh, nope. you can. Yeah. Can you throw things up? No. Oh, you just got hit. Did something. I? I think something hit happened. Oh no. Something beeped anyway. Yeah, I think you have to just make it to the top of this level. That's right. Oh, I think we're on the default mode, which is the mode we want to be on. <laughs> Am I just trying to get to the other side? Uh. Where you have to get up to the top. And then jump up or something. Maybe I don't remember all these levels. We're jumping down the side. Nope. <laughs> Oh god! Maybe there's something you have to collect and throw at the fires? Like nothing works pressing up? Nothing happens? Up and fire? Up and fire? No? What is that beeping? Maybe there's something that we can't see. Hold it. Oh, no, you don't need to hold down the button. There it is! Okay, that's what you're supposed to get. Now it's working. Okay, you're supposed to kill all those fire things. Oh yeah? Yep. How do I do it? There is, you have to throw it by pressing up. Oh, There's an arc. That's not very useful. There it is. Oh, we just didn't see it the first time. It was hidden under something. Yeah, we, yeah there was ah. supposed to be a cookie. If we just couldn't see it, it might have been somewhere and we just, it was just out of our range of vision. We found the cookie. Pieces of ourselves being thrown. Unrefined sugar, flour, ginger, and heat have combined magically produced consciousness and mobility in a delicious culinary confection. You, a gingerbread man, find yourself baking in a gas-fired oven, and you must find your way out. Gingerbread Man is loosely based on the popular children's story of the same name, and although this game is appropriate for children, it's not child's play. This is made by Fred Quimby. In Gingerbread Man, you must fight your way through 20 levels consisting of five unique gameplay screens, facing a variety of obstacles and challenges in order to survive. In the first level, you begin in a hot oven, where you must escape before being cooked alive. Once you break free from the oven, you find yourself in the dining room, where you need to collect all the balloons and float up to the roof through the chimney. Now that you're on the roof, you must build a bridge to a nearby tree while fighting off cats and birds that you want, want you for a tasty treat. Once in the tree, you need to evade all the dangerous creatures in the forest. Will you ever get a break? And if you do escape the forest, you enter a cave where you must fight off your most fearsome enemy yet. 
Oh, Ground Trooper is out of here. He's off to a dinner and a movie with his birthday bride. So nice. say happy birthday to your birthday bride. And thank you for hanging out with us on this day, even though you shouldn't have. <laughs> um, and you can catch the rest of it on the stream, to not the stream, but the YouTube archive tomorrow. Make sure you... Uh, Oh, we have a timer. That's yeah. what's counting down, that, that beep. How many did you kill? None. <laughs> well, I have, but I've restarted a couple Yeah, of but times. total. Before. Did you get two? Three? Oh, I don't know. Three? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Off it goes. Yeah, it was probably on a blue part, and we just couldn't see it. Hi. Hi, kitty. Hi. Have your bow tie. You're very cute. Oh, okay. Yes, you are. Oh, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Come here. Oh, missed. Very challenging. Because <laughs> you have no control over it. Oops. I find it's easier to throw it from below. Because yeah, it, it is. Because it, there, it, he throws it, it almost immediately. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to figure out where that arc's going to land. Oops. My turn. Yeah, you go ahead. It's challenging. <laughs> I remember you and Erlen playing it, and you played a lot of it to get, to get as far as you did. Yeah, it's not an easy game. Oh, it doesn't go that high. Can you do with that cat, please? Ah! Destroying things. He's just knocking stuff off. No, he's chewing. He's chewing on the paper. No, he's just knocking it off. See? It was chewing on the paper. You're bad. Bad, bad cat. There we go. Yeah. One down. One down. Oh! I was right on it. Very good. Two. The other one. Mm. Fail. Very difficult. Can I do this dangerous move? Yes, I can. Oh, oh, you have to, no. you have to duck. Yeah. Okay, last man. Mm. Oh, God. Uh, oh, it's crap. Of course it is. It's just getting into trouble and distracting me. Come here. You know, you know you're in trouble. Oof, oh, and the last one goes super fast. You're so cute. <laughs> so cute with this bow tie. This one is... Oh, I remember this. Oh, God. Yes, continue. At least you get to continue. <laughs> yeah, you have to jump over him. <laughs> okay, I think you have to, like, do Get up this. there. Yeah. Some of these are super tricky. Yeah. Damn it. I'll have to remember how to do all of them. How long you and Marilyn played it? Ah! Oh. Well, yeah, I can do that one. Yep. <gasps> oh. I had to. I didn't. 
have enough time to jump up. Okay, let's get that purple one on the right. It's misbehaving. Yeah. It's going to the, the left. A little bit? Yep. Leave you to... Oh my god. I remember this now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can... You get it like this? Mm. I think so. Or do you have to... Maybe. Yeah. Oh! oh continue. You have to get them all over again. Yep. The trick is knowing how to get them on this yeah, level. Yeah, it this, is. This it one's is. the tricky it's just, one. It's just um, trial and error, really. That cat is cute. He is a cute kitty. It's not too many cats. Soul. Not too many cats in games. Have to be <gasps> Damn it! I <laughs> have to do a cat, a cat thing. Oh no, no, no. A cat themed game? Yeah. I don't know how many cat, homebrew cat games there are. Not too many, I don't think. <laughs> Not too many, no. Stop it! No! <laughs> open because there are bad cats in this house. This level is a puzzle game. Yeah, basically. That's right. Fast if you yeah, do it you, have to, you have to. You have really to let fast. him uh, get past you. We finally have accurate colors on our broadcast. Oh yeah, you were saying. Because last episode, I finally figured out what was going on with the 2600 and its color output. Um, because for the longest time, I had kind of color corrected the output from the 2600 to look approximately right. And most games were like, eh, they're okay, but they weren't perfect. They were always a little bit off. Um, but then there was a game last episode where you're, oh, after all of that. where you're catching snowflakes, and the snowflakes were white against a blue background, and you couldn't see the snowflakes whatsoever on the output to, or even on the screen. I couldn't see them. N not, not at all. But then I realized that, or I remembered, that my Atari... Oh. It's okay. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Yeah. That the Atari, um, the RGB modded Atari, has a button for different palettes of color. Palettes. Palettes. Palettes? Palettes. Like the blocks of wood? Yeah. You said it's not exactly the same as the blocks of wood? What's palette? Nothing? Nothing. The French version of it? Palette? I don't know palette. what a palette is. I don't know. Like a galette. <laughs> palette. Oh, palette of color. Oh, God. Um, Thank you very much. 
Um, so I pressed the button and magically it was like, oh, these colors are way better. All of a sudden, stop it! <laughs> if you hear me randomly Screaming yelling at, at something, the cat? it's because of a cat. Not because I'm yelling at, at, at myself or the game or something. You're very mean. How are you chewing? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, you need to be cut. Yeah, your claws are sharp. How do I get that one? Which one? You jump up to it. Like, no. you, you, you run into it. From from below? No, just from the middle of that upper part. Oh, okay. It's not too hard to, it's not too hard to do. From here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's why. Yeah. Oh, well, you if do you have to actually jump. jump. Yeah. <laughs> From like, yeah, there or the or slightly above. Okay. Hi. Are you angry? <laughs> Perpetually. Are you angry? Perpetually angry. I'm running out of time now. That's uh, tough. We only have one more to go, and it's not a hard one as long as you do it. Don't die. There you go. Don't die either. Okay, now I collect them and build a bridge. I remember this a bird? one. And the bird is annoying and constantly chases after you. You don't ever want to hit the bird. No, 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 no. You die. Oh, I think you can just walk across can. this. Whoa. Yeah, you have to go up in the middle. Angry cat? Yeah, I'm bleeding. You're bleeding? Yeah. Well, he has a bad cat. No, he, uh... Oh. He's got a taste for blood now. Sorry? He's got a taste for blood now. I know. Oh. No, he has some very sharp claws. Oh, okay. His claws need cutting. Yeah. No. You're... No. No. Oh, uh, not good. Yeah, oh. <sighs> it just needs cutting. Okay, what's gonna happen here? Oh, God. It's gonna kill you. That's close. Very close. I'm gonna go down. Okay, go down that way. <gasps> Excuse me. That was my first life, so it's okay. Yeah, you're okay. The other one's a, a little bit easier to get. That's this one now. Jump across and finish it off. I think. Yay! Whew. Whew. Level three. Level three. Out of twenty. Remember this one. Uh, this one's about bouncing. Yeah. Collect, and then... Just never hit the birds. The I know, you have to go on this side, and like... And then that, that did it? I can't remember. Yeah, because it gets lower and lower. Oh, yeah. And then you want it to get it low enough so you can get the worm and feed the baby bird. Right. Bounce on either side. Oh, this way. Yes, we can. But it comes. But <laughs> the mother, mother bird is like, stop messing with my baby. Relatively. Now this is the cat level. This one is not what, easy. What are you doing with this one? You get that, throw it at the cat. You have to take the elevator up to the top to get to get the thing you throw. The bird is. Bird is a 
problem. And the cat changes direction. <gasps> Doesn't like do getting it. hit. Oh, careful. Start all over again. No, do you? Yeah, you have to hit the cat three times. Oh. I believe. If I remember correctly. Cat's way. <laughs> Press it to the left. Take this joystick apart again. Bird's coming. Get out of here, bird. Ah! On that. Oh. I don't think the, river, the cat goes all the way to the right hand side. It doesn't seem to hit you. The cat? No. Well, he hasn't. He did once. You have to go back and then over, don't you? You have to get jump on the little guy and jump up and then there you go. How many times did you get him? Once? Once, I think so far. Oh, yeah. Okay, close. Yeah. Oh and dead. It's a joystick. It's a joystick. How do you how do you <laughs> do you have to double jump it? Uh, I think you just have to move really quick. Very hard. I don't know what it is though, just knowing he's a gingerbread man in an oven, and you're picking <laughs> up pieces of gingerbread, are making me really want cookies right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, cookies are good all the time. <laughs> but just the thought of gingerbread. Want you? Yeah. Want cookies? Good job. Two That's what you one. have to do with this level. Is ah, is just too two many. Two one. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Forehand. Mutilated. Mutilated. Okay. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna jump, jump up. and then down. Not the ones I went for, but it. Uh, I'll that take works that. Too. Oh, good. Ah. And now those are fast. Please don't put it down there. Please don't put it down there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you not throw it from higher up? Uh, you can. But it's harder to know where you're throwing it. Yay! Wow, you're doing really well. Two oh, cats. Oh, God. Oh, man. That's not easy. No. Less room for error. Okay. No. Me? Oh, yeah, you have to play once in a while. Cakewalk was hard to find. It's on a Facebook group for download. Yes, that is correct. Um, I did find it. I should be downloading it now. Yeah, it's in the Atari 2600 Homebrew Games. Let me link to it. So people can download it themselves, because it is a public group. Santa's Workshop. Put that in my hacks directory. Santa's Workshop. Kitties? Oh it? yeah. Oh, you did. You cleared out the right hand side. Nice. I don't know how to get that one. That one was challenging. Um, I think you get it from that stump. Oh, too close. That stump on the left hand side where the black cats are, and you jump to the 
up and to the right. Mm, that would make sense. Mm. I do I do recall you getting it too. Oh yeah. Last life. Two black cats don't leave much room for uh, error when getting up there, do they? Oh. I think I like from that stump, go to the very right-hand edge and jump up. Okay. Not that stump, the one down. to the right. Good job. Good job. Oh, you don't want to do this no. one? No, no, no. <laughs> You're doing quite well. <laughs> oh, the bird. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I need to go there. Birds, ah, stuck. Get out of here. There we go. Oh no, I, yeah, I have to go. You have to go down. Across. And ducky, ducky, ducky. Ooh, okay. And then up here. <gasps> Damn it! Oh, needed all my lives back anyway. not as hard as I think the last one is. The last one that you played mm. is. Because those two cats, they, they only added one cat. Right? I find the one where you're throwing things. That's challenging. It's challenging because it it's just has this weird arc when you throw it and, and it's very hard to actually hit something with it. Yeah. It takes practice. Oh yeah. So like the one with the cats, I must have played that one before because that Did one you? doesn't seem so bad. No. Yeah, I think I did. I think you and you and Caroline were playing, and I jumped in. Yeah, to try a level or two. Yeah. Yeah. This one's not too bad. Just timing. I mean, these ones are all timing. can't do that. No. no. <gasps> Damn it. I'm still two away. Ugh. Remember, you have to stay ducked. Stay yeah, ducked. Careful. Stay ducked. Oh! oh. Deal with the bird. All at the top, please. No. That's not how it works. <laughs> oh, there's, there's Birds in the way. Isn't get it? out of here. Oh my god, why did I go there? I wasn't <laughs> even looking at because the white cat. Because the cats. white cat is so, uh, is so faint that you kind of forget it's there. Yes, I definitely did. Blends right into yeah. its surroundings. Oh. Poor gingerbread man. Yeah. Okay, bird. Get out of here. Yeah, he is definitely under attack. <laughs> oh, good. That's not too bad. <gasps> Damn it! Stupid move! Oh, I didn't no. mean to do that. Okay. It 
distance. Go all That's the way really back hard up. to get to, actually. Uh, you have to jump across to it. Yeah, it was a harder one. Interesting. <laughs> you did it again. Totally messing up. You must be getting <laughs> Oh god. Duck. Bird. Oh. Get out of here, bird. <laughs> oh. Right into the white cat. Move, bird. <laughs> Move. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go from below. Yeah, I think sometimes that's actually easier. Yeah. Because you have to go up anyway. Yeah. So why not just do it this way? Oh, and I should jump up from the left hand side avoid the white cat easier. I'll show you the next time around. Oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> no, you're going to have to go down. I'm going to go up. Because I have to go up anyway. Oh no, I have to go. I have to go down. Yeah, you have no choice. Oh. Yeah. I didn't realize I could do that. Get. Get. No. No, 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 no. For sure. This is what I mean. Like that. Mm -hmm. So that you're it really far easier. left and it gives you like another half second. It's joystick! <laughs> Pulls to the left. It does a little. Ah, I need to open it up again. It's down at the bottom left. Yeah. Okay, two more. Stop making stupid mistakes. It's just too hot in this room. Usually don't wear a sweater. <laughs> now that the door is closed I because the cats now. are bad. Yeah. Probably upstairs. Good. Yes. Oh. Oh, now they're running downstairs. <laughs> I hear bad cats. Oh my goodness. I'm not getting away from them, is there? Careful. Last one. Just out of reach. That's brutal. Yep. Okay. Oh no. My turn. Uh, Grr. Oh, 
gross. <laughs> As a tactic you have to use a lot is ducking and jumping at the same time. Two more. Oh, giveaway. At least one should be. Yeah, well, you had two so far. Oh, the bird. I wonder if the bird homes in on you more as the level progresses. Oh, no. There you go. Oof, 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 oof. Duck. Oh, no, you're going to have to go up. Oh no! Oh no! One last light. Oh, out of the way of the bird. Oh, oh no! To avoid the stupid what bird. Do? I had to avoid the bird. He was coming right for me. Oh no. Duck. Oh, but I did. Oh, well, the I game says you didn't. I was sitting down as I jumped. Game says you did not. Yes, but that joystick has some issues too. Oh god. <laughs> That's not a first easy one. Nope. Hi, Terry. Are you, are you coming for good luck? He's here for good luck. Oh, I died immediately. Aww. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Oh, you could. No. You can do it all waste. in one if you're careful. You could, but I don't want to take that risk. <laughs> oh, it's at the bottom middle. Mm -hmm. And the bird. Oh, purr cat. Purr. Hi, buddy. Atari says he likes games about cats. Yes. Yeah. Even when they're the bad guys in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Giveaway like, one. He's yeah, cats are always the bad guys. So. Oh, I pulled me to the left. Well, it's up in the middle anyway. And the bird's coming. Please go away, bird. Do you find that generally the birds don't necessarily run into you? No. It's pretty random. They're not really going for you. They're just all over the place. All over the place. Kind of yeah. just pesky. 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 Out for blood. Out for blood like cats. Yes. Like mean black and white cats. <laughs> yeah. One more. One more. Please don't. Oh, good. good. Oh, thank you. Bird, stay where you are. I did do it in one life. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yay! Crazy birds. Uh, Crazy birds. Oh. That guy is moving really fast now. He is. Oh. Don't let it get down there. When it gets down leaf. to the level of the... Yeah, it's a leaf. Yeah, when it gets down to those cats? Oh my god, no. Don't let it happen. Yeah. I'll always run immediately to the top again. That's a nice little one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sweet little birdie. Yeah, you feed, I mean, him, you feed him the worm. You feed him the worm. But you can't get to the branch of the worm until it's low enough. Yeah, I think it's pretty close. Maybe. Oh, oh my god, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh my god. 
No, 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 no. I don't no. think the bird kills you, does he? Oh my god. Yeah, he does. Does he? Yes. Birds and cats kill you. It's way down there. You have to fall to the left. That's not bad, I guess. Ooh, got it. <gasps> Did it start yep. over? No, it there didn't. There you go. Oh, oh okay. my goodness. I thought when I saw the leaf fall, oh, I'm like, Oh, I thought no, I had to start all again. over again. Okay, boss. Oh, boss he's time. a big guy now. Is he bigger than before? Yeah, no, it was a cat before. Oh. It's, it's a big uh, bulldog now. <gasps> Did I get him now? No, you killed the bird. Didn't even know you could do that. You can. But it kind of takes away your... Oh. Uh, my leg. Oh, he's back. Oh, no. Bird. No! Does he go to the edge, though? Damn it. You have to he does jump. go to the edge now. Yeah. See, he didn't go to the edge before. No. At least it starts at the top. Ah, get out of here. Go to the left and then to the right. And then to the left. No. I think you can. Yeah. I think it's it's oh, it's very precise though. <laughs> I love my score. Five. No, maybe not. Oh, no, it's quite a jump. Oh, oh. you can. Just bear <laughs> just barely. <laughs> Getting more aggressive and aggressive here. He's an aggressive bird. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh goodness. Oh my god, it's giving it's me it to me. Very but... difficult to. Challenging. When you're just running around in the maze, it's <laughs> easy to do, but this is a lot harder. Yes. It's the coordination of throwing it and the. It's so hard to arc. get up there. You don't get a lot of shots, so you don't get a lot of chance to practice. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Sorry, you can die or start over if you want. Get it, get it. What oh, are you doing? It's up. I didn't know. I, I didn't up. realize it was uh, oh, no. up to throw. I forgot. It's a big arc. It's oh, a big arc. It's crazy. Get it. No, it's, it's too, too high. high. It's way too high. Ugh. It's way too high an arc. Just it's getting used to the the throw. It is quite a distance. Like now, like no, you're too late. No, like, it's, it's way huge. too late. It's like three quarters of the screen. Because the cat, you can kind of run back and forth, but this guy, see, I can't even like. <laughs> Yeah, there's very few safe spots um, at the bottom. It's so slow. It's so slow. You have to kind of jump to the left and then come back. Or do that. Now. No, no too, yeah. too, too close to you. Oh, how am I ever supposed to get up there? It's ridiculous. Oh, 
ridiculous. <laughs> what level are we on? Let's see. There's six. Six levels per round. This is our second time at the boss. Yeah, the bird got me. Unbelievable. Continue. Continue. Um, oh, I was going to continue. Five you have ten, mi ten seconds. Yeah. Say that yeah. like I wasn't going to. No. No. Oh, oh way too late. Okay. Now. Okay, you have to get him twice. I think it's just twice. Maybe it's three times with this guy. Twice? No, it was three times the last time. Was it three? Yes. Okay. This is level ten. Birds are such a pain. It's like, what am I supposed to do? It's like I, I, I can't know. jump away. See? It's like cornering me over and over again. It's very irritating. Yep, and that's exactly what the <sighs> game needs is that, that bird. Without the bird, it would be like oh. It would be very it's yeah. Easy. It would be a little boring actually. Somewhere. Oh, no, it's not up really high. Go away. Bird! Oh. Come on! No, he's going to get you. He actually walks faster than Damn you. it! That was so close. I got him twice. Oh, just picked it up. Might be a good game this time again. God, the bird! Get out of my <laughs> face! Meh. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> well, try for it. Maybe. Oh! oh! No, no, you're so good at it! Bird, get out of my face! <laughs> Get, get! <gasps> Unbelievable! Yeah. Unbelievable! You were so close. Get out of my face! <laughs> you know what I'm picturing you yelling at your sister when you were young. When every time you say that, get out of my face! <laughs> no, 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 no! Dog is like. The yeah, I've done that too. Yay! Oh, yeah, level wow. ten. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, no, not a chance. Yeah, they turn around you have with to the jump other over guy. Them. And, and they're very hard to jump over. They are. You have to hit, hit the arc perfectly. Because this is where we made it last time. I know, you made it to 10 last time. We didn't defeat that cat. No, I don't think you did. The dog? The dog, no. Well, then that's even more reason to keep going. I don't understand you your You give reason. up. You give up so easy. <laughs> no, I just get tired. <laughs> uh... One. One down. Two. I got two. Did you? You got the one above, too? See, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. So far over. 
jump up and you want to get over those guys and then fall down. Stuck! It's fire and lots of other terrible things. Oh my god, last life. Oh my god. <laughs> so sensitive. Oh my goodness. Didn't go high enough. No. Where's it? There. Yeah. Zero. One for you. Yeah, that's not going to work out in the end. It's going to be a trade off like that. Mm. Better. Now I'm in a, a decent position that I can move around. Oh, I get this guy. Good job. Now it's not too bad. Get these guys from below, which is a oh, that a little bit. That's the easiest. Yeah, the to one get. To the top. Yeah. Another one of these guys. Are they just faster? The bubbles oh. are full. Change the look of the bubbles. They did. The balloons. Oh, were they balloons? They have little strings. Mm. They look like thought bubbles. <laughs> like this ones. Yeah, because they had they were empty in the middle, so. Are the cats were moving faster. Uh, I think everything's moving faster. It's the same ones though. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, everything's moving faster for sure. So this one was like... Yeah, careful. You have to kind of crouch almost. Mm. Wedge your way in, yeah. Come on, puppy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no. That was mean. But that purple one. You have to just get it from the edge. Nope. Somehow the other mm -hmm. jumping up, getting it. Just in the mid part, part when you jump over, it's not usually too bad. Yeah. Like here? There, yeah, I think so. Like the yellow to go away, then the black to go away. Very now difficult. What? Now what? I'm gonna get the oh. oh no. Continue. I pressed to the left and then I got Oh. 
did it you again. Have it, you have to get it immediately. No, it pulled to the left. No, and I know. And then I went it, to the right to compensate. But you, you have to do it immediately or it doesn't work, really. They're moving so fast now that... Yeah. You have to kind of jump at it from the side, I think. Like this one? Mm. No, it's not quite close enough. Oh... <laughs> Crowley cat. Mm -hmm. oh, anything for that. Nope, they're all enthralled <laughs> by the gameplay. Mm -hmm. They're concentrating just as hard as I am. You have like this is the only way. Like, how do you get in there? Oh. Oh, maybe. Yep. Definitely. <gasps> oh. If you do it right, if you actually jump, I was trying to get it. Oh, not enough time. Damn it! Oh, but I know how to do it now, so it's all good. It's all okay. Nobody panic. <laughs> Leaving? Uh, there we go. off the right hand side first. Oh, I could have gone. I would have pushed the time. off this side completely. Think? Nope, I cannot. I have to take two runs at it. But I did it all in one life. And done. Oh, oh my god. Okay, level 13 on this. Giveaway too. Hmm? Hi. Oh, you're, you made it? Yep, I did. Oh my goodness, crazy birds again. Yeah, this bird is out of control. Insane. It's like just get out of its way. Die bomb. spaced out. Oh, that's what's going on yeah. here. Get, get out of here. Oh. I don't think you can walk across the bottom successfully now. Like, you can't do Only it. Only short distances. Well, you have to. You have to do it here. You have to get up here. And then, and then oh go fast or something, I think. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. 
sit <laughs> and die. It's not worth wasting one. Isn't it? Oh, you can't throw it. No? no. That's a shame. What is that? Way out there. There. So you can you can make it. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? My goodness, that's not frustrating at all, is it? He is homing in on you. Oh, for a sure. A lot more than before. <laughs> ah! -ha! Like you have to actively ev evade him now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not impossible to get up. Maybe. It's more about the blue bird at this in this stage than anything else. Mm -hmm. He's coming. I don't know what to say. This is going to take a while. Ah, get out of here. Get, get. <laughs> and death. <laughs> oh, my turn. Yeah, just give my wrists a break here. Oh, my God. down and then up instead of up, I don't know. if that makes sense. Nope, it doesn't. Here. No, no, I hit I, I hit to duck and so I yeah, that was just dumb. Oh. <laughs> um I hit I hit to duck. Yeah. The bluebird of happiness. I... No he is not the bluebird of <laughs> happiness, I suppose is the bluebird of Ah, I didn't mean to jump that Too third many time. Times. I just meant to Blue jump. Bluebird of death. And he heads straight for you in this level now. He be com he's completely reprogrammed. And whenever you're evading the cats, oh. he starts coming after you. Oh my god, you're living life on the edge. <laughs> I don't even care at this point. What? Care. Care. Well, it's just level it's so hard. 14? 13? 13, yes. <laughs> you can't just give me one shot when you've been playing it over and over for like, oh, I can't even go that way, can I? You can. You can do it. Meow. It's hard. And bluebird. There's not much you can do. He just comes right in on you. And you, you basically can't stop. I didn't mean to do that. You basically can't stop. No, not for any length of time. But you have to when you're trying to get back up from the cats. It's dive bombing you. It's like what crows do in real life to cats. Oh, you can get up again to the outside. It doesn't help you, but well, it kind of does. You still have to come back around if well, you're evading yeah, the blue. Yeah, because you can't get over this thing, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. He is, see, I, I, I'm just, I don't care at this point. I don't see myself passing this level, so it's all, it's all to you. I might get some popcorn. Get, <laughs> get some popcorn. Yeah. He is mean. Have you ever, seen, you've seen birds dive bomb cats, right? Oh, yeah. They get angry. Yeah, well, they usually deserve it, but. <laughs> the cats, yes. You, like, that's a whole game in itself is <gasps> getting a... You can't get past him. Like, he just <laughs> corners time. you. That's right down the bottom. That's really annoying. And here comes the bluebird. And death. <laughs> 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 I, no, you can't. I, no, you can't. We tried throwing the cookie. I'll try it again, but I don't it, think It doesn't can. look like you can, which is a shame. Let me try it again. It oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're 
right in the middle. I didn't even get a chance to even have the cookie long enough to try and throw it. Okay, now I have the cookie. No. No. Can't do anything. No up. No up. No up. No, up, up does nothing. Get. Get. Out of here. No. Oh, he corners you. It's hard enough just to build that bridge. I think I've gotten two pieces Three, maybe maximum. Three, two, yeah. Serenity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That bird man. Oh my god. Seriously. Yeah, they do that. Get out of here. Bird. No. 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 Oh, one. That's all. No, you can just go. Well, you can't. Yeah, really. yeah I can make it. I can get there. The bird leaves me alone for long enough to do it. Nope. Oh. <sighs> oh, it's right down the bottom. You could have gone down the other side. I too. could have. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. What is this madness? Get. Get. I love, get. I love your anger. Oh. oh. Get it. Got it. Okay. You can, yeah. Well, that's the way to reset. That's really good, actually, that you can jump outside of that. Yeah, you can. Oh my god, get out of here! <sighs> the secret is just keep moving fast, fast. Yeah. Don't stay in one spot. You can't. But it's a shame because there, there are certain things that you have to pause for. A little bit. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to cuddle. Are you okay? Yeah, he's just complaining. He's not hurt. No, but he doesn't like to be unexpectedly hurt. <laughs> he does that. He does make those noises when you pick him up. He does. Now he's purring yeah. instantly. Yeah, he's happy. Uh, what do you think? Uh, we need you. This we is the hardest you. level. We need you to attack the bird. Because usually on, on levels you make some progress. This one is really bad. I mean, it's theoretically possible. Uh, it's just look. very, very difficult. You just have to be so fast. Persistent. And persistent and just lucky. Lucky too. Like that. that you can't get trapped there. That's like the worst spot to get trapped. Because you can't get out. Yeah. Uh, Oof. You have to do maneuvers like that. Like, look around. Oh, I have two lives still. This could be the one. Don't say it. Don't jinx yourself. Look, oh, it's look at that. Easy ones. <laughs> Watch out for the bird, though. Watch out for the bird. you got to keep moving. You can't even stay still. You Keep giving me easy ones. Come on. Where is it? Oh, down the bottom left. Ah, uh, no! Oh, uh, maybe it'll give me an easy one. Get out of here! Get, get out of here! <laughs> no! You did so well! No. You did so well! What do you Where think, Atari? Oh my oh. god! No, 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 no! Don't trap me there! Go to the other side! <laughs> Go, 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 no, 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 <laughs> One more. One come more. on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 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 Cut the head of I almost timed out. Good kid. Good kid. Good kid. Uh, okay. 
hands. Oh, they're all flickering. Yeah, too many things in one line. Sorry, sorry, but you go. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. If I can't get, like, one. <laughs> that's a quick way to die. Oh, off the cliff. I can get at least one in my first life. Can I get back on? Oh, oh that was. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Careful! It's madness. Don't panic! No! Get, he get, he, get, he, he get, gets get. you right down into that. Uh, it's in the middle there. Get out of here! Get! Oh, oh if I didn't jump accidentally. Yeah. Advantage of his curves. Like he, yeah, he does. It does, he does take float. a bit to turn around. He does around. float around. No. <gasps> oh. oh, he's coming back. He's coming. He's coming. Get. No! <laughs> Straight for it. <sighs> three, uh. three away there. Of skill. To play this level. Come on, Bluebird. Get. Give me something. That's not something. That's terribleness. You can't pause. Like you have to do those maneuvers you just so have to, quick. You have to do it really quickly. It's gonna be up here. Where is it? Oh, no. good. Watch, don't let the bluebird corner you know. Like that. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh my god. So close. You do your thing. Damn it, get out of here. He seems to. Oh, oh he's evil. Sorry. Oops. Fell off the ledge. This level, this level is brutal. Yeah, I'm done. You're done. <laughs> Well, 
if you can get down there and jump back up. There yep. you go. Exactly. Cannot stand still. Oh, it's down the bottom. Okay. Mm, terrible. <gasps> yeah, he has swooping patterns. Yeah, he does. That you can kind of use. <gasps> Damn it. Got stuck. Kind of use to. <gasps> oh, it him. Where is it? There it is. Bottom, bottom right, yeah. Kitty, 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 kitties. Come on, come on, just come on. Oops. Too fast. Too fast. Should wait until we turn the other way. Thank you. It has Why been. Not? Oh. Oh. That's no, pointless. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. <laughs> Come on! <sighs> I've come so close to finishing this level. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, I waited. I was waiting for the bluebird, and I should have waited for the cat. Oh! And death, and death. Give me something, please. No. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Did you bring cookies? Did you bring cookies? No, I brought popcorn. Oh, okay. That's what I said popcorn. You want to have some popcorn? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, stinky popcorn. Not Do you have any tips? <laughs> <laughs> or is this just brute force having to do this level? I think it's just brute force. Not brute force, it's yeah. luck. More like there's skill, but there's a lot of luck as far as where the, the Oh, roof that's pieces. a good one. Leave it, leave it, come on. Mm -hmm. ah. It's skill. And, yeah, and luck where the pieces it is a fall. luck. Where the pieces are, and, and the bluebird, where he happens to be. There's a well, lot. the bluebird goes where he goes. He has a pattern. Yeah, but sometimes he dives, dive bombs right into you. You know what I mean? True. He does have the swooping, some swooping patterns that are pretty brutal. <gasps> Why should I do that I so quick? Know. See, you're getting tired. No. Getting sloppy. No. Without fighting me. No, 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 no. Up, please. No, that's, that's not too bad. Mm, that's a little bit that's tough. doable. Bird. No. <gasps> no. Grr! I was in a somewhat easy spot, and that now it's now not. it's in a not so easy spot. Not terrible. Mm. Two more. <gasps> Damn it! Turn.
No, 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 no. Get out of my way. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. No! You went where I was going to go instead of where I was. Well, I haven't gotten any, so I'm going to die. <laughs> no! Pull to the left. Nice. Trap me? No. Okay. Get up top where there's more maneuvering. Just give it up, James. No! Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm not giving it up. I agree, Mr. Fix. <laughs> I agree. No! When you have to go back and get food because you're getting hungry. Because well, someone's you. been playing, playing a level for so long. <laughs> it's a bad song. I got one away. It's not like I'm like impossibly far away. I got one away once. Mm. <laughs> sigh. Make sigh from the. <sighs> Would be helpful if the joystick wasn't messing with me too. Where is it? No. Come on. No. Oh, I thought I had to jump up. Oh my god. No. Way down there. And the bird comes. It makes my life a living hell. No. <laughs> yep, get up there. Get up there. No. Oh, so close. This, that's what this whole level is. is. Oh! So close. Yeah, but unfortunately you can't walk away from this game. Mm -hmm. Because you, have, you can't continue on to this level. Get well, out of here! Can. You just have to get back there. Oh, but it takes so long. No, it's not that bad. It didn't take us that long. Give it up. Give it up. Two more games. No one's watching anymore. Sarah. Oh, come on! <laughs> now it's just taunting you. That is... That's the worst spot ever. game. <laughs> I guess I should have used those lives if it was my second to last game. One last game. Come on. One last proper game. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> one last game where I actually get one piece on my first life. No, no, no. No more yes. qualifiers. No Lots more of qualifiers. It's not how this works. <laughs> Bluebird. Oh, oh. No, see? <laughs> yes, that damn bluebird is mm -hmm. right. Oh, my wrist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is very painful. I think this is. I'm gonna make I remember it from <clears throat> last time I played it too, my wrist was dead by the end. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hooray, a piece. <clears throat> Popcorn stuck in the throat. Mm. What? Oh, it didn't pull out. Oh my goodness. The joystick was still down for some reason. Custom shirt with a bluebird on it, and it just says, Get out of there! <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> I know how to handle all the patterns of all these cats mm -hmm. so easily. It's the bird. It's the bird the is bird. completely random. I think this is the it hardest goes after you. the hard hardest series or sequence. Actually no the one where you throw it at the bulldog is pretty hard too. Yes. Yeah, the bulldog one's very hard. 
card. This has definitely been the hardest level mm. so far. The longest I've spent on it, which equals hardest. And add. add. No committing suicide or, or cookie suicide side won't, won't help. help. No. no, it doesn't. This is a nightmare. Okay, that's it. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Oh, I just can't, my, my wrist is too sore to continue. You have to come back oh, to it, practice a bit more. That's going to be a whole episode. <laughs> because it takes, it takes too long. It does take a long time to get it's to this point. It's a long time. Yeah. But it's, uh, oh, it's way past our no yeah. time. <laughs> You've been working on that for a long time. Um, so... Let's take a look at all the games that we played today. Mm, the color, the, the screen changes color. Oh yeah, that's kind of a... That's neat. An Atari, old school Atari thing. I'll just show yeah. you what, what, what we mean. Green, and then it's aqua. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so we played uh, Tower of Rebel, mm -hmm. uh, an amazing start. Um, by Dianoid. That was, mm -hmm. um, Very I can't cool. wait to see that develop. Um, especially the next, the next part where it starts dropping, um, blocks. Mm -hmm. And then that'll actually be playable. Right now it's just, you know, you wander around. He's got the controls down. Uh, then we play Toy Shop Trouble. Obviously, great game. Super hard. I love it. Very game. challenging. It's so much fun. That's yeah. such a fun game. Yes. Yeah. Um, but super hard. We didn't even make it close to it. You made it to 13th, 14th? I got to the Atari controller. I was pretty yeah, excited about that. Really I didn't get good. to that the last time I played, so that was no, pretty good. It was good. uneasy, accidentally. Yeah, yeah but, it, but it's not that much easier. You just get a little bit more time. Yeah. You know, you get a little bit more time, you can make it a little further. And then another toy shop, Toy Shop Terminator. Yeah, which good, is a good, good start. start. Yeah. Very good start. I love really? the sock monkey. The yes. sock monkey is really cool. The graphic, and that's why I chose him for my, I know, my yeah. cartridge. My cartridge screen here, I'll just show the sock monkey again. There you go. There's the sock monkey toy shop terminator in the middle there. Yeah, um, I like that. And then we played a very Galactopus Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, very simple game. Yeah. You just Cute shoot the though. presents. Great looking um, um, good presents. Octopus. And the octopus creature yeah. from outer space. Yeah. Very cool. Very good. Yeah. Uh, and that's hard to read. Tossing cookies too. That's a very early work in progress Yeah, not versions. much of a, a game really. At no, this point, it's but. barely playable, so it's hard to really comment on it mm. at the moment, and I don't know if he's going to continue it because it's six years old now. Mm, true. So probably not. And then obviously a uh, masterpiece that, gin that is Gingerbread Man. Yes, uh, it is a great game. Deceptively blocky graphics, <laughs> 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 but the gameplay is top-notch. Yeah. It is so that bluebird challenging. Man, that damn bluebird. Yes. Oh, get out of here! Get get out of there! Yeah, get get, get out, out of there! there. <laughs> um, so the next episode is going to be Stay Frosty Two. Oh, cool! Um, because that is the homebrew tournament game hmm. for December. Okay. When are we playing that? I think it's twenty eighth. Uh, Assuming it's me and not Erlen. Erlen's not back yet. Uh, it might be Oliver. No, he's not back yet. Mm. So no. Um, with a damn blue bird. <laughs> yeah, it is on the 28th, which I believe is a Friday. Yeah, mm. so we're, you know, we're taking a break during the Christmas time. Mm. So Wednesday today, so it's kind of a week and a half. Mm. Um, so that'll be after Christmas. It'll be the Friday, the 28th. And we will be, actually, there's a couple games. We're going to be playing Dragon's Descent, mm. Point Procurer. Um, so that's two very early work in progress games. Mm -hmm. And then stay frosty too for a homebrew tournament round seven. See if I can stay at least in fourth place and hold my position. Excellent. I wonder if he's. Let me just check and see if he's updated. Oh, oh updated the. There's some. Some one of these people who's participating in the homebrew tournament mm -hmm. is the record holder for stay frosty too. Of course, of course. So that is going to be impossible. Yeah. 
Uh, so I'm definitely cool going to be see, way down the, the charts. But let me see It'd if he's updated. Cool yes. Updated the list. Oh, he has. Oh, still in a fairly solid fourth place. Mm. Unless I do terrible and Thomas Yentz does very well <laughs> in Stay Frosty. He I might. think I can hold fourth place. He might. Mm. Oh, Erlen's on the board. Yeah, Erlen's on the board in eighth, tied for eighth place, mm. four way tie. Uh, five way tie. And I'm way down 15th, but I, I'll, take 15th place. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see if Thomas Yetz has put any scores in for. Oh, he has not. So don't tell him about the game. Don't remind him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not watching, are you? Let's see. Is he watching today? No, he's in Europe. That'd be very early in the morning or very late. He at may night. watch it after the fact, though. You're Shh. reminding him. Don't tell him. You're reminding him. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be a challenging game, but very fun. Mm. And then it is uh, the end of the year. And then we'll be back to a normal two twice a week schedule. Yes. On the second and fourth, where we are going to play all these exciting trackball games. Trackball games. Yeah. Brand new trackball games from Atari Age. Mm -hmm. um, and then. After that, we're going to be playing the Atari Awards nominated games. Very cool. So all the games that were nominated, I think, at some point, may not be right after. Mm -hmm. Might be another week after. And for Erlen, we want Shoplifter, the mm -hmm. game Shoplifter. Yeah. Thomas may have worked on Stay Frosty. Oh, no. There's <laughs> a hidden level. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I should look at all the cheats. Not the cheats, but like they're, mm -hmm. they're known, and I know... The person Oyama family is like the record holder for that. He mm. knows all of mm. the strategies, and he did a perfect run video and posted it to you. Oh, very cool! So okay. I may have to study that. <laughs> at least have a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is it for this week. Um, mm. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Yes. Uh, I supposed to Mr. Fix R7E. A lot of new people talking this week. Yeah. Uh, Ground Trooper, Nintendo, Johnny Ten Speed. I don't know if he said anything before. Miss Galact. No, I don't think so. Oh, was there somebody else? That uh, you no, said? there no. was a Chai Five Seventy Four. I don't. Chai Five Seventy Four, RC Seven E, uh, Pac Man Red, Tiki yeah. Dan K, uh, Splendid Nut, uh, Dinoid Games. Uh, lots of new... Oh, Johnny WC, John Champo tuned in. Lots of different yeah. people talking. Wonderful. Which was great. Yeah. Um, so thank you for spending a little bit of time with us yeah. on a Wednesday night, <laughs> watching me die over and over again on the level 13 yeah. of Gingerbread Man. So we'll be back on the 28th of December for some more awesome homebrew goodness. Yes. So thanks for tuning in. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Yep. And Merry Christmas and Happy Merry Holidays and to you holidays. all out there. And uh, enjoy your time with your family. Yep. yep. And hug your cats. And hug your cats. Right, Atari? And dogs. And dogs. And other And other animals, sorted pets. Yeah. Mammals and reptiles. Yeah. <laughs> and bugs and other creatures. That's right. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.